I feel, I don't know, I feel like scuff is gonna happen today because of how <laughs> how long it's been. But hopefully not. Hopefully we should be good. I don't know. We, we will have to see. <laughs> as, I, as I look and my quick action bar is just uh, frozen. So that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. But that's okay. We, we can do without it. We'll just have to... At the end of the stream, raid someone the normal way. Hello, Lisa. How you doing? How you doing? Let's see. Let me get Zero Escape open. So I think last week we... I think we made a lot of progress. Because I remember we got Temioji's ending. And then we got... I think we got like two different to be continued endings. Which is okay. It wasn't ideal, but it's okay. <laughs> Ahead and go over here. Cause yeah, it could have been it could have been worse. We at least made some kind of progress. <laughs> so now we have more than just Dio's heckin' face there. That seemed a little scuffed. <laughs> okay. But yes, we are in the treatment bay. There are three treatment pods in the pod room. There are numbers on the end of each one. Reading from left to right, there is one, two, and three. Fun fact, with the original version on the 3DS, if you saved in a puzzle room, it would, it would corrupt your save. <laughs> a plant. Look at these lush green leaves. This sturdy, thick shaft. It looks like it's full of energy and stamina. How does a plant have stamina? Did you notice that there's something stuck in the trunk? 
It looks like a piece of green plastic. Pay no attention to the fact that I that I was comparing this tree to a euphemism. Nope. <laughs> well, got back from my trip. Nice. How was it? Let me see if I can get it out. Huh. Looks like it's really in there. I think it's stuck on something. I guess we'll just have to take the whole thing then. Huh? Well, that plastic thing could be important. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Whatever it is, it looks like a card. <laughs> it's like, right, please, Clover. I feel like Junpei would have been like, uh, Clover, you want to keep you want to keep talking about whatever it is you're talking about? And <laughs> meanwhile, Sigma's just like, what? Why does it have stamina? It's a tree. <laughs> There's a button under the screen. Push it then. Right. And there. Oh, hey, it turned on. Well, it looks like there's something on it. What the heck is this? <laughs> it was so much fun. I miss being in flame with Flamin in person. I legit cried when I left. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad you had fun. I, I know. I know I was sad when I had to leave when I was visiting Peach. <laughs> it says start in the corner here. Maybe it's a board game. Hmm. An image of a board game. I don't know if it's a board game, but it's something. Let's see, we got a lion eating the sun. Nice lion. Termites, good question. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty realistic painting. It's a really, really, really real lion. <laughs> don't sing in a whisper like that. It's creepy. It really looks like he's coughing up a hairball. I think he's trying to eat something, not cough it up. He's trying to eat a hairball? Uh, probably something else. Huh? What? I don't know. There's just a hole there. So we need to put something in the hole? Yeah, I think so. How you doing, nerdy ninja? We just started. Let's see. Oh my gosh! Aliens! <laughs> Pretty sure they're just jellyfish. Aliens. There are three jellyfish. Two yellow ones and a purple one. What's that inside the purple one? Is it digesting human flesh? Wh why would you even think something like that? I don't think it's meat anyway. Look at it. It's too solid. I think there it's a tile of some sort. Huh. I wonder if we can get it out. Hmm, we need a key of some kind. I'm fine, just chilling and lurking. Nice. Hopefully, hopefully you're having a good day. Um... A wall clock. Nothing strange here. What? Are you serious? Are we even looking at the same clock? Everything about it is abnormal. Really? Totally looks like a regular clock to me. Oh my gosh. Okay, abnormality number one. No hands. Oh yeah, I guess it doesn't have any. What do you mean you guess? How could you miss that? S sorry Anyway, abnormality number two. There's some weird green glowy thing. Oh, yeah, there is. What is that? I guess there is no way to know without taking it out. But there's a cover, right? You can't get to it. Mm, yeah, and it won't open. Shoot. Well, duh. There's no way it's gonna be that easy. So if we want this green thing, we have to figure out a way to get that cover open. Yep. Abnormality number three is the hole on the bottom left corner. Huh. I wonder what it is. I think it's probably a keyhole. Oh, then that means... Wait, we can think later. We've got two more points of abnormality. Number four, turn your attention to the other side of the clock, specifically the bottom right corner. What do you think our these are? Well, there's two slots painted red and green. Do you think they're from memory cards? They sure look like they are. And I've saved the best for last. Abnormality number five is about number four. Huh? Look, see where it says number four on the clock face? It says number four, or N-O-4, is the fifth admiralty. Ah, uh, yes, I see. It is rather odd. Does that mean this is the fourth clock? Anyway, those are the five weird things about this clock. Where were you looking anyway? Uh, at the clock? Well, then your eyes must be worse than I thought. 
<laughs> the trip further affirmed my feelings towards him as well as helped me through some very rough decisions about myself and how I view myself. All around a fantastic trip that I will don't forget. And then we'll cut back on that dog we got while this is But I'm glad you had one. That's 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 very good. Shoot, won't open. There's a control panel in the middle of it. Yeah, I think that's how you unlock it. Oh gosh. Four letter code. For each number that is the correct number, but... What? You have ten guesses to figure out the password. If you guess wrong ten times, the code will reset and you must start over. I'm not quite sure how it's supposed to work, but I guess I can mess with it a bit. Hmm. Okay, so... Does this have anything to do with it? <laughs> Um, oh, is this, oh, maybe this is like, uh, let's do, okay, so two of those aren't there. I immediately have no idea what's going on in this puzzle. Yeah, that, that, that's on me for kind of skipping through it. Um... Mm, seven nine. Okay, one of these is okay. One of them is not. Uh. One, two, seven eight. Oh. Uh. One three. Seven, six. One, four, seven, seven, six. Um, three. Hmm. I'm going to go back and actually maybe this is hard. You can do it. OK, the door can only be unlocked with the correct four digit code. You can use the hit and blow numbers to determine the correct number. For each of the number that is a correct number in the correct place, you get one hit. For each number that is a correct number but not in the correct place, you get blow. You have ten guesses to figure out the password. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... One, three, seven, six... Okay, one of them is right in the wrong place okay so i think this is kind of like mastermind um two four seven eight no seven five nine four hmm Eight, seven, six, five. Okay, one of them is in the right spot. And one of them's right, but in the wrong spot. Uh, nine, seven, four, three. No, okay, so that wasn't the seven. Hmm. Right <sighs> Let me, let me start this over and, like, actually put a memo down of which ones I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. It's, like, mastermind. But, like, I, I need to, like, keep a note of, like, what I've tried so far. So, I'll just do four. Okay, so, three, four. I'll have... Red be like the white, and then blue can be like the, the black ones for mastermind. Okay, so dun dun dun. So f maybe four. Mm, I'm not sure. So four, five, six, 
five, six, seven has two of those. Dun, 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 boom. Hmm, okay. So nine, eight, seven, four. There's two of those and one that's in the right spot. Uh, so it wouldn't be four. It wouldn't be four it'd be in the right spot. Um, um nine four. Two, five, six. Oh, okay, none of them are in the right spot. Nine. Whoops. Four, five, six. But we got three of them are correct numbers. So maybe. Maybe seven was in the right spot. So let's do. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so it wasn't seven. So maybe it was the eight, perhaps? So we will try... Seven, eight, four, nine. Oh! We are one number away. We are so close. Okay, seven, four, eight. Here's seven, eight, four, nine. Okay, we have a few more tries. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is the one in the right spot, as well as maybe this. So maybe it's just the seven that's wrong? So we'll... Let's see, that was probably the four. Hmm. Five, eight, four, nine. No, okay. So three, eight, four, nine. Oh, come on. Two, eight, four, nine. One, eight, four, nine. How? It was six, eight, four, nine. Oh my gosh, okay. Shaking my head at myself. Okay, let's. Okay, one of those is right. Might have been that my notes were a little bad. So let's do one. Oh, one of them is right. Hello, nobody. Ah! Oh, why is the scanner not working? Why is the scanner not working? Scanner, no! My scanner is broken. <laughs> no! I wonder. Um, why is it broken? Let me refresh trigger fire. Oh no, trigger fire is broken. <laughs> but hello, nobody. I don't know why the the scanner is broken. I don't know if I can fix it. A few things didn't open up quite right. 
And I guess one of them was the scanner. I'm sorry, nobody! <laughs> Someone recall of <laughs> Right, for my copier. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's just a case of OBS didn't open up quite right, because my quick action bar is also broken. <laughs> but hello, nobody! How you doing? Are you off work today, or are you stopping by before work? Okay, so... Okay, it had... One that was in an okay spot, and the last one had one hit. Oh, okay. So, uh, this was six, five, four, three. It okay, no scan. I know. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's broken. <laughs> Going to work late today. Oh, nice! Okay. So, yeah, we're kind of like forcing, we're, we're not forcing, but like, Trying to figure out a puzzle. Let's see, I will guess. One, six, two, three. Hmm, okay, so two of the numbers are correct, but in, or yeah, two of them are correct, but in the wrong spot. Whoops. Why do I keep having the six be the first one? Probably because that might be what it is. Okay, two, three, has two of those. Um, I feel like it's likely that six might be the first one. And three might be in there somewhere. Three. Um. I feel like Hmm. Okay, so that wasn't the hit. The six was not the hit. Um, or nine. Um, so maybe six might be in the third position. Um, so if Three, five, three, five, six, two. Ooh, two of them are in the right spot. So three, five, six, two. That's two hits. So it's more than likely the five and possibly the six. Possibly. Um, I just don't know what the other ones could be. <laughs> Let's see. Nine, five, six, eight. Oh, so it's not one of those. Nine, whoops. Nine, five, six, eight. We got one of those and one of those. So it might be that. So six might not even be part of the code. Mm. The... It wouldn't be the nine, so I don't think the nine is there. I don't think the nine is in there at all. It might be the eight. It might be the eight. Um... 
Which means I don't think the six is in there at all either. So... I've been good. <laughs> I, I, I had like <laughs> almost a week in between now and then. I've been playing uh, Dark Road for the Kingdom Hearts app thing, which I forgot to have open on my phone. There we go. Now, now Xehanort can can just idle and level. Um, let's see. So maybe it's seven five one eight. Seven five one eight. No. Hmm. Five one eight. I'm so upset that I was like so close. Oh, I didn't even move the eight. I'm I'm a silly. I meant to move the eight. <laughs> um. So maybe four, four, five, eight, two. Is the eight not even in there? <laughs> So wait, what? Okay, so five, four, eight, two. I got so close. Okay, so, so no eights, no twos, no fours. So, hmm, so it's either the one or the seven, I think. So it wouldn't be nine, eight, or six. So... It's okay to be silly if you're Billy. <laughs> So, okay, so let's go ahead and um, we know that that's that, so it could be, it might be th three? I don't know if it'd be three. So like three five mm, two seven, I don't know. We got two hits and only two guesses left. <laughs> three five two seven. Two hits. Um, which it could be the seven. Because this is the first time that we've had the. Oh, wait, no. So. So it couldn't be two. It might be the seven. Or is it the three? It might be the three, actually. Uh, so it's probably not the seven. No, it has to be the seven. Because... Because of that first one. Uh, what numbers do we have left, then? Because... Um, like four, four, five, something, seven. Four, five, something, seven. Um,
I wouldn't be one. Because we've already disproved one. Um... Should watch a full run. <laughs> Good. Well, here, here are all the steps that I have. I'm pretty sure um, five and seven are the ones in the correct spot. Um, blues are things that I've had to hit. Reds are blows. Um, but I wasn't watching the results close enough. Um, because we have one guess left, so I really feel like I need to think this through. But I don't. Wait, no, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be four. No, it wouldn't be four. Um, because it was there. Okay, so... It's doop 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 doop. Pretty sure that it's five and then seven. I... Mm, it wouldn't be one. Because that, that one was that one. Um... I feel like four has to be somewhere in there. No, wait. So wait, what was this one? Because we got a hit and a blow here. But I don't know if it'd be six, because the first guess was nine, eight, seven, six, and it only had the one uh, blow, which would be the seven. So it wouldn't be able to have a six in there, I don't think. Um, so one of the things on the second line, maybe it, no. I feel like I messed up on my notes. <laughs> Might be a three. Three and either a one or a two. Mm. Mm. I don't th think it would be one. I'm not sure. I think I messed up somewhere on my notes. Two, five, three, seven. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let, <laughs> I'll let you. Think, cause, hang on, no, okay. Three, uh. I don't think it would be 1-3, because then uh, this one right here would have had a, a hit. Um, um, 3-5-1-7... maybe? Maybe. No. Mm. Yeah, I might have to start over. Um, I'll just put one five three seven. Okay, what was it? Three five nine one. <laughs> how did how did I how did I mess up that badly? <laughs> okay. I'll take this slower. Okay, so we have one, two, three, and four. One of those is a blow. Okay, so let's do four, five, six, seven. 
Okay, that was that was a lucky that was a lucky entry. <laughs> so, whoops. So four, five, six, and seven in random <laughs> orders. Okay. So, just for simplicity's sake, seven, six, five, four. Two of those in the uh, in the right spot. Cool. <laughs> Can't lose now. Only a few combinations. Yeah. So let's do. Let's do. Five, six, seven, four. Oh wait. Okay. So not those. So it was seven, six, five, four, and then five, six, seven, four. So one of those was in the right spot. How did I? What? <laughs> so probably. And then boop boop. Boop boop. Oops. Okay. So the four wouldn't be in the first place. So six, seven, five, four, maybe. No, okay. So it's definitely. I feel like it's definitely the six and the five. No, wait, no, 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 no. Seven, six, four, five. There we go. <laughs> We're finally done with this puzzle. <laughs> Get me out of here. You did it, Sigma! Looks like that was the answer! Phew, that was lucky. It really was Sigma. <laughs> anyway, it seems to have unlocked. Okay, now we're finally in here. Looks like there are three pods. From the left, there's pod one, pod two, and pod three. There are numbers on them, and you can't really see them from here. Sometimes letting it scramble some simplifies things, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Also, they've got, um, handles. Maybe they're for opening the pods up? Can't hear the... G I, I knew there was gonna be scuff! I knew there was gonna be scuff! Um... Let's see, why... Why aren't you detecting the game audio, OBS? Let's see, did that fix it? Yep, okay. <laughs> I knew there was gonna be scuff. I called it. Pod 1, it has a handle. Did you see the drawing next to the handle? Yeah, I did. Okay. So we got a key for something. There's something in here. A key? A white key with little dots. Okay. So... The cover for pod one seems pretty normal to me. Okay. Scuff but fun, yes! <laughs> okay, so we got the drawing on there. This is a clock! The hands are pointing to 715. Are you sure you're reading it right? Yeah! See the 12? It's on the top. 715. So, oh, can I not? There we go. There's a message on the screen. Maintenance complete. Please insert activation chip. What does it mean by activation chip? Well, I guess it's a chip we insert to activate the pod. You think? Why are you being like that? This is important. We- Okay, okay, I get it. We need to get Quark into one of these, right? Yeah. Okay. So, for this one, we got another key. Yeah, it is a key, isn't it? Okay, 
So this is for... Do you think it was a nipple with two hairs growing out of it? Of course not. The hands are pointing to 620. Hmm, okay. So... 6... 20... And 7... 15. Okay. Let's see what you have in you. Oh. 111. That's not the right button. 111. And I'll put one, two, and three. Because I kind of wrote those in the wrong order. <laughs> See, there's a message on the screen. Currently undergoing internal maintenance. Please stand by. Guess we can't use this one. Yeah. The screen says currently undergoing internal maintenance. Looks like we can't use this pod, so it's just the first one that we can use. If we have the chip, but we only have keys and like probably a memory card thing in the tree. And so anything else that we can see in this room? Get out of here. Okay, nothing else. Oh my gosh, that's that's much lower. Okay. So we came in here for a few keys. And so handless clock underneath a glass cover. The bottom left corner has something that looks like a keyhole. Hey, this is probably where it goes. Where what goes? <laughs> Let's see, probably not this key. Huh? That's strange. What is it? The key doesn't fit. Hmm, you think maybe this key goes somewhere else then? Like where? How about this key? There we go. Ha! Ah, it's open! Hmm, well, I guess I'll grab this thing first. Okay, we got number one written on this one. And so... Now? Oh, this is probably the key for the jellyfish tank. There's a lid on the tanks. You can't open it? Nope, looks like it's locked. Well, it's got a keyhole. Then I guess we need to unlock it when we want to open it. Uh, Sigma, what? I think you can unlock it right now. Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> there we go. Now I should be able to open this thing. What the hell? There's a second lid. Yeah, but it's got a hole in the middle. If you stick your hand in there, maybe you can grab the one with the meat in it. It's not meat. Whatever. Let's give it a shot. Ah, hot! Shit, this water's really hot. Really? Really. Then these bubbles. Yeah, it's boiling. No way. No jellyfish could survive in boiling water. They are aliens. Yeah. We should try and get the purple one to rise up to the top somehow. If we can get it right under the hole in the lid, I think I can grab it. You can move the three jellyfish by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. You move the purple jellyfish to the hole using the water currents in the tank. If you move one of the yellow jellyfish to the hole instead, you are a failure and we are very disappointed in you. What? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Um... So, like that, and then, that, they're disappointed in me, I'm a failure. <laughs> Is Sigma a Sigma man or a Sigma female? A Sigma a male. Hmm. Oh, okay. So... Mm. Oh no, that's... That's broken too, I'm sorry! That, that's through trigger fire and it's broken. I don't know why everything's broken. But I'll refund you the points after stream, nobody. Oh, that might mean that Majima is broken too. But thank you for the stretch and the hydrate. 
go ahead and reset this while I'm stretching. Okay. Let me grab the water. <laughs> At least throwing thing still works since that's just through the throwing system. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if this is in like specific turns. There we go. <laughs> I was overthinking it. <laughs> Gotta grab it jelly fast. What the heck? Jellyfish and fast, cause the water is hot. <laughs> yeah, the throws work. I believe so anyway. I heard the noise at least anyway. <laughs> Artificial jellyfish. Got a, th a thing in it. We need a knife. Maybe just stick the jellyfish in there. Picture of a lion. There's a circular hole between the jaws. Okay, maybe we just need to inspect it. This is Ellen. She's a mysterious intelligent life form from the outer reaches of space. <laughs> Don't give it a name. Here, here, take it. Hey, stop it. What if it grabs onto my face and lays eggs in me or something? <laughs> Come on, it just wants to give you a hug. Besides, it's not even alive. It's a thing, man-made, like a toy or something. But it's digesting a chunk of meat. That's not meat. Then what is it? Hold on, I'll pull it out now. Okay, so we got a circular tile and we put it in there. Yep, fits perfectly. Yeah, I don't think it did anything, but look, huh? W what the heck is this? A, a laser? Gosh, I didn't think there would be something like this behind that picture. A laser? This is the thing shining a laser beam across the room. Let's see. Hmm. Let me go back in there. And so with that open... Oh. What? Look! The laser added stuff to the time! Yeah. Looks like it's 015 now. Hmm, okay. So... It is 015. So... Hmm. He's still in maintenance? Yeah, okay. So... There's a message on the screen. Maintenance complete. Please insert activation chip. We don't have one of those. Unless... Oh wait, we do. Oh look! The color changed. I think it says something too. There's a message on the screen. Before use, this system must be initialized. Please perform the following tests. 1. Treat vegetation. Freeze vegetation. Until chests are complete, pod will not function with human occupant. <laughs> what the heck is this? We can't put a person in here until it runs its reset, its tests. Seems pretty clear to me. Then what about Quark? Don't worry, we just need to run the tests. Something about testing and freezing a plant? Yeah, treating makes sense. These being treatment pods and all, but freezing? Well, we don't really have a choice, do we? We gotta follow the instructions. Come on, we don't have time to just sit around. We got to do these tests so we can get Quark into one of these pods. <laughs> yeah, right. Got it. Okay, so now we get to put the tree in there. Okay, put the healthy plant down. What do we do next? Let's try closing the pod. Right, here goes. Identifying subject. Done. Diagnosing subject. Done. Initiating freeze cycle. Freeze test complete. Pod opening. Also, I... I know we're only like a little bit into the stream, but I gotta be right back. It'll it'll just be like a minute or two. <laughs> so so I'll be right back.
Rika-chan and I gave her a pat on the head. <laughs> eh? Oh, oh, why are you petting me? We're petting you because you're a good girl, Satoko. <laughs> Satoko was lost in confusion, but she seemed to understand that she was being made fun of. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get, Satoko. <laughs> I will go ahead and go over to the BRB screen with my little clip show. I will be back in about 10 minutes. I will have a uh, have a 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 thing set up. <laughs> then quick stretch, like the second. Okay. Ah. Oh. oh no! Yeah, I'm stretching. <laughs> I look so disappointed. <laughs> How about this one? Damn, cool drawing you got there. Didn't know that you were an artist as well. Who is that? Why did you do that, Taylor? That wasn't very nice. Huh? Do what? I'm quite confident that you know exactly what I'm referring to. Um, why did the background music suddenly change? Okay. Uh... What... Was that the best ending? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am back. <laughs> Apologies for taking that little it, little break. I, I needed to do something important, but I am back. Okay, so we, now we got a frozen tree. Whoa, it's totally frozen stiff. Probably because of your lame joke. D did I say something? Look, the leaves are all crunchy. Crunch, 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 crunch. Ah! Oh man, what did you do, Clover? It's all broken now. But whatever, just help me clean it up. Huh? This wasn't here before. It's that plastic thing that was stuck in the trunk. Must have fallen out with the plant shattered. Okay, so now we got the green memory card. And so now we go over here, out of here. And over to the clock face. Look, there's a hand on the face now. This is a minute hand? It's pointing to past five, or five past. Interesting. Oh, we can't really do anything with it. There's a minute hand on the face now, it's pointing to five past. There's a minute hand on the fi face now, it's pointing to ba ba ba. So now we need to find where the red one is. Oh, maybe we can use this plant in the test. There's something stuck in it. Looks like a chunk of red plastic. Okay. So, whoops, that's me. That's me. I just grabbed myself. Okay. Let's see. I just went the long way. Okay. So now we go over here. Dun, dun. Okay, this time it's a withered plant's turn. I wonder if it'll work. Who knows? Let's just close it up. Identifying subject, done. Diagnosing subject, done. Initiating treatment cycle. Treatment completed. Pod opening. Oh, nice! It's a nice, healthy plant. Hey, what the heck is this? The plant was practically dead a minute ago. No way. No way, that's impossible. It's like magic. Well, we won't need this plant anymore. He's done a good job. Thank you for your service, sir. Huh? 
Hey, it looks like this or something here. Must be the thing that was stuck in the trunk. Whatever the treatment was, much, much have pushed it out. Much have. All right, I think that should complete both of the tests. So hurry up and put Quark in. I know, I know, hang on. There we go. He's sure sleeping pretty hard, huh? You'd never think he's sick. I guess that Soparel stuff is really strong. Yeah, so what do we do now? How about closing the cover like we did before? That should start the automatic diagnosis. Got it. Identifying subject, done. Diagnosing subject, done. Single human occupant secured. Beginning treatment. Is he going to be... okay? Maybe we should check the screen. Yeah. I think this is some kind of readout of Quark's vital signs. Body temperature, pulse rate, blood pressure, respiration frequency. They all look normal. What a relief. Wait, there's something else down at the bottom. Radical 6 virus detected in subject. System is not equipped to treat Radical 6. Current program will alleviate symptoms but cannot cure viral infection. What the heck? Then what was the point of putting him in here? Well, I don't think there was no point. After all, it says it can alleviate the symptoms. But hold on, let's keep looking. It says more. This system is capable of inducing a cold sleep state. Cold sleep state freezes subject with CAS, preserving cellular structure. During cold sleep state, body functions are suspended, preventing viral spread. Activate sleep function? Yes, no. Cold sleep? What the heck is that? I have no idea, but remember the freezing test? <sighs> Whatever, we need to get out of here and tell everyone else about this. What should we tell it to do? Huh? Do we put him in cold sleep? Activate sleep function, yes or no? No question! What if he got smashed with, like, that plant? No, it is. currently contains Quark. There's a clock drawn above the handle. Okay, so now we can go over to the clock, slowly but surely. Hmm. Go over here, put that in there. It did it again! There's another hand! It looks like an hour hand. It's pointing to four o'clock. So, okay. So we've got... Four is four hand? Why? <laughs> four oh five. So where do we put this information into? No, I wanted to click the keyhole. Okay, apparently not. <laughs> so a joke that my friend about my friend or a joke between my friend, his girlfriend, and I have started with me writing how to how to date demi humans guide, all because I offhandedly said you got to keep dried fish on you at all times to keep your kids and your girlfriend happy. That that's that's good advice. Also, hello Rocket, how you doing? <laughs> Let me see. So what haven't I looked at yet? Was it you? Oh, there's an image here about something that looks kind of like a board game. Is this a hint? Where do I use it? I'm doing good, that's good. Let's see. I think this is some kind of re out of vital signs, body temperature, pulse rate, they all look normal. Um You still doing maintenance? Yes. Um Oh. Lovely. <laughs> okay. A tablet. There's a message on it. Four pieces for the first password. One piece for the second password. What the hell is that supposed to mean? If I touch it, the screen changes. I don't... I don't know yet. <laughs> um, do you think maybe pieces could mean like the pieces in the board game? 
pieces. Don't you remember what it said on the tablet before the password screen popped up? No. I didn't look at it before the password screen popped up. <laughs> like four pieces for the first password and one piece for the second password. Those pieces. Uh, okay, but what board game are you talking about? You already forgot? Well, where do we start? <laughs> A binder. Looks like there's a piece of paper on it. It says how to open the pod room door. I already did. <laughs> okay. So... Okay. So... Oh. Okay. So... One, so, like, we start at the T, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, like, A. Or, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. S? Maybe? Because if we... Like, do we start on the T? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cause it... Hmm... Maybe, maybe today is too low energy to have done puzzles. Because hmm. if we, if we have T as the one, then we would end up with A, and then, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. And just to, just to make writing the book easier to me, stand in is a half elf. So I guess I could add that to the list of alternate personas. Yee! Let's see. Five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, do we wait? Do we take it literally or like the hands on a clock? To where like twenty would be like like four? I'm not sure. I'm overthinking things. Um, uh, hmm. Three, mm -hmm. Hands on a clock. Mm. Okay. So. One, two, three, four. One. So, like, H. And then. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. R L B H. Or would it be different if I did the other way, though? It would. Mm. So it probably wants me to do minutes first. So... Three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
like my brain is not powered enough to do puzzles today. <laughs> hmm. You bake cookies and cook bacon, yee! <laughs> also in German, cookies is cakes and and cake is cooking. <laughs> if you need help, maybe. Maybe just like a, a little a little hint. Cause like, on honestly, honestly, my brain is on such low power mode. I might, I might change over the game, <laughs> and I, I kind of don't want to. But like, I, I, I can feel myself struggling. <laughs> like maybe. It's like, why R? Why did I write a B instead of an R? <laughs> R B U. There's no French word word for lime or the number eighty. <laughs> yeah, I've I don't know French, but I but I know like the word eighty. They they're just like four twenties. <laughs> There's four of them. <laughs> was what what would the what does the like french word for lime translate into is it just like green lemon <laughs> okay why are you i'll try that one nope that's not what i'm looking at we don't have the password sigma okay why are you no Okay, I knew it wouldn't be like that. I need four twenties of green lemons. Is it? Wait, is it actually really green lemons? That's silly. That's silly, silly. Um, maybe. Maybe three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, two, three, four, five, six. You logged in. Yeah, but look at the screen. I was overthinking it. Moon Moon Star. Moon Moon Star, huh? This is it's a password for the safe. Moon Moon Star. Moon Moon Star. Yay. Back at my middle school, I used to be fluent in friends, but I haven't had to use friends for so long. I mostly forgot, right? I think even when I was taking German, I was like I, I was okay. <laughs> Definitely wasn't fluent at all, and now it's just like, um, I know how to say my name and I play video games. <laughs> ich heiße Zephoria und ich spiele Videospiele. <laughs> that, that's, that's all I can do. 
You did it. You opened it. Yay. Whoa, that thing looks dangerous. You mean the scun thing? Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. I think this is just an injection gun. It's a helpful tool, not a weapon. Are you sure? I think it kind of depends on what's in that vial there. The label says neostigmine. Huh? What did you just say? Neostigmine? Why? Does that mean something? Uh, let me see it. Neostigmine. Neostigmine. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. No good. I can't remember. Damn. I don't think it's bad, though. Do you have any proof? Nope. Of course not. Um, could you let me hang on to this? Are you sure it's not dangerous? Well, what do you- what would you do if it was? Alright, I trust you. You don't seem like a bad person. <laughs> Thanks! Then how about I let you take me on a date sometime? If we get out of here in one piece. Yeah! Cool. Moving on. We've still got a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, but it's all flat stuff. Uh, yes it is. First we've got... A map. Floor B. The map I found in the infirmary said for floor A. I guess that means floor A is the top floor. I mean, we took the elevator down to get here, right? Yeah, that sounds right. Up next, some gray cards. Key cards. They've got moons on them too. These must be the moon cards the announcer was talking about. There are two of them, just like the sun cards. One for you and me, and the other one's for Quark. But he's... Well, there's no point in giving it to him. I'll hang on to it for now. Okay, what's next? A piece of paper with something written on it. Here are some more rules for the AB games for you. Not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, the one person out of every color group of three has to vote. In other words, all three of us can't not vote. One of us has to do it. So either you or me, you mean. Oh well, there's no reason not to pick ally in the next round anyway. Of course, first we've got to get out of this room. And that'll be easy. Just look at the last thing in the safe. The key to the exit. Okay. Let's go. Okay, we don't need the little silver gold plate. This is the lock for the exit. It says lock right now. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Heck, Dio. What the Somebody hell? Somebody else must have opened one of the AB rooms. Why would they do that? Whatever. We should be heading back anyway. I headed for the door. Wait! Clover's voice stopped me. What is it? I turned to see her pointing towards the wall with the treatment pods. The screen, it changed. The what? screen on the pods monitor thingy. Oh yeah. It says recent operational records. I stepped closer and began to read. What it what, what it said was interesting. Currently test treating one subject. That one subject had to mean Quark. This was the pod he was put into, after all. I read on. 0748, one subject released. 0806, one subject successfully restored. 0816, cold sleep mode disengaged. Beginning restoration of one subject. All prior records have been erased. Authorization admin. I checked the other pods. They were all the same. 0748, one subject released. 0806, one subject successfully restored. 0816, cold sleep mode disengaged. Beginning restoration of one subject. All prior records have been erased. Authorization admin. Whoa, what is all this? I think it's saying that about eight hours ago, somebody in this pod woke up from cold sleep. 
Well, three people, actually. One for each pod. They all say the same thing, see? Uh, that's before we all woke up, huh? I mean, it, it hasn't been eight hours yet. Yeah. So the three pod people could be the three of us. They could have been captured earlier. Don't know how much earlier. Then they were thought out eight hours ago and carried into the AB rooms. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I really don't think there'd be anyone else in here besides the nine of us. Well, I guess it's actually the ten of us, huh? Yeah. If you count the old woman we found, then it would be ten, wouldn't it? So, who are the three pod people? Don't ask me! How am I supposed to know that? All it says is subject. A. That's creepy. B. It doesn't tell us anything about who they might have been. Hmm. It doesn't say that we were put into the sleep, cold sleep either. I'm so this sorry. Book, where it <laughs> says, all prior records have been erased. Authorization admin. That seems pretty suspicious to me. I wonder why they wouldn't just write the time, though. What? Well, you said it yourself. The log says eight hours ago, not like 9.15 a.m. These minus signs have to mean this far in the past. Who would ever write the time like that? Yeah, that is weird. I didn't even notice I was reading it wrong, I guess. Maybe Zero Senior doesn't want us to know what the actual time is. Why not? Hell if I know. Mm. Speaking of things I don't know... Why did this stuff suddenly show up? It seems like whatever it was that triggered this activated as soon as we opened the door to leave. Wouldn't that mean Zero Senior set it up to work that way? Yeah, but why? That's what I'm asking. What reason would he have to do that? Maybe he wanted us to see the records. Perhaps, but he deleted a bunch of the data. Why? Could it all be a trick? All of trick? these records are fake. Zero Senior just set it up to mess with us. So you're saying this was just a joke? Well, I can't say for sure, but it seems possible, right? Hmm. No, it doesn't make sense. Well, let's ask somebody else. Maybe they can think of something. Maybe. Yeah, you're right. If the AB gates have opened, we need to be headed back to the warehouse anyway. Yeah. And we need to tell everyone what happened with Quark. We double-checked that Quark was all right in his pod, then hurried out of the treatment center. We have a long way to go. <laughs> Is this another warehouse? It looks just like the other one. Hey, could you show me that map? Sure, here you go, Clover. Yeah, I thought so. This one is right under the floor A warehouse. Huh, so it is. Oh, are those? Those doors are white. There are three of them. Okay, let's get a closer look. These are chromatic doors. See? They've got a little box right next to them, just like the others. So these are third round chromatic doors, huh? Guess we'll be coming back here pretty soon. Yeah, well, we might not have to. What do you mean? We both have 6 BP right now. Yeah, that's true. So? We're a pair, right? Yeah. And who's our opponent? Quark. Exactly. But he's in the pod right now, so... If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. You aren't saying we should pick a tray, are you? Weren't you planning to? That was why you were okay with option C when we were making the groups. No, no, that's not. I just... I thought that with Quark's condition, I'd be able to choose ally and not worry about getting betrayed. Oh, come on. You don't need to lie to me. 
we're partners. That means we share the same destiny. So let's not hide anything from each other, okay? I'm not hiding anything. Wait, you're serious? You were really going to pick Ally? Whoa, hold on a second there. We might not get another chance like this. Let's say we ally and get up to eight points. We don't know if we'll be able to get any points next round. For all we know, there might not even be a next round. There are three other people with six BP, right? Dio, K, and Phi. What do you think is going to happen if one of them gets nine points this round? That's not going to happen. Why not? Phi and Luna are playing against Tenmyoji. He's only got one BP left, though. I really don't think they'd pick Betray. If Tenmyoji picked Ally, they'd kill him. The same goes for Dio. He's playing against Alice and Kay, and Alice's BP... No, don't even think about that! I agree, but her BP is the same as Tenmyoji's, so unless Dio's willing to kill someone, he won't be able to get his BP to 9. Then Alice has to vote Betray! Yeah. This is generally the best offensive choice. If Dio chooses ally, then K would have 9 BP. Yeah. Jeez. Well, it's just like I said then. If K gets 9 BP, then there won't be a third AB game. Well, that's not necessarily the case. So it's over when someone gets 9 BP. No. As long as that person doesn't open the number 9 door, the game so you think that Kay will stay here, even if he gets enough points to leave? I don't know, but it is possible. No, it's not! Well, we can think about how we're going to vote later. For now, we need to get back to the others. There's a couple of things I've got to do when we get back. Fine. Okay, back to floor A then. Let's move. I turned and headed for the exit. After a few moments, I heard Clover's footsteps following behind me. We got back and there was one minute left for the AB gate. We were standing around for, for over half an hour. <laughs> Doing with all stretches. Oh, thank goodness you're back. Yep. Are we the last ones? Yes. Hey, where's Quark? Tamiyoji's expression was furious, and from the way he was stomping towards me, I felt like I only had a few seconds before I was on the ground with his hands around my neck. I explained what had happened with Quark in the pods as quickly as I could. So are these pod things really safe? Probably. Probably? No, they're definitely safe. He's fine. Well, are they safe or aren't they? Look, I'm just worried about him, all right? Can you take me to this treatment center, Clover? Uh... Don't worry. We've still got 20 minutes left. Plenty of time to go have a look and come back. Ye. Yeah. Okay. Come on, then. As soon as she finished, she was off. Temioji followed her at her heels, and in the blink of an eye, they were gone, out of the magenta door. Alright, you guys got some explaining to do. I beg your pardon? You opened the AB gates before Clover and I got back, didn't you? I want to know why the hell you go and do something like that. Sigma, take a look. As she spoke, Phi gestured towards the line of AB rooms. Only one was open. It's not like we opened them all up. So you're saying only one person or one pair jumped the gun yes. here? Well, then who was it? I opened it. 
So it was you. Figured it's not as much. Really a big deal, okay. Okay, Grandpa. There's a fifty percent chance he's good, but there's that's good chances, right? It's like we didn't freeze him. He's just laying there. It's fine. He was fine in the other route, so he'll be fine now. I mean, you came right back. Yes, Dio. Yes, it is a big Why? deal. If you hadn't made it back by the deadline, you'd have just defaulted to Ally. No, not just. Are you telling me you didn't know? Didn't you find one of these notes? What? We found this in the treatment center. There was no such thing in the pressure exchange chamber. I didn't see one in the pantry either. Huh. Well, whatever. You should really probably read it, though. Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not a option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. You get it now? If we hadn't gone back in time, Clover, Quark, and I could have died. And you just- all Right, alright, I get it. Sorry. Cutting some slack though, man. I didn't know. <laughs> it is a very weird convenience that every time, like no matter which route we get, our team is the only one who gets that note. <laughs> it's just like, hey! Hey, Shiggy! You're the you're the main character here, so you are the only person that gets to know these very important rules. <laughs> Dio is still trying to kill everyone. The house is still alive. Good, yeah. She didn't die yet. Remember, she dies after the second round of votes. <laughs> so you wouldn't have opened the gate if you did. Of course I wouldn't have. What the hell, bro? Because you know they need to get the votes in. And then she gets you found the in the crew quarters. You said the treatment center, right? Yeah. If they treat people there, I think they'd have shelves of medicine and stuff. Yeah, you would think. Did you find any Excelivir? No. It's not really that kind of place. It just had these pods, and that was it. Besides, if we'd put anything to cure Radical Six, we wouldn't have put Quark in the pod. I see. Can the pod cure Radical Six? No, unfortunately. How do you know that? Oh, well, it said so on the screen next to the pods. Something about how it can provide relief from the symptoms, but it can't actually cure the disease. That's better than nothing, though. Mm. Oh, right, there's one more thing about the pods I should tell you. As quick as I could, I explained what the records had said about the pods' occupants and their, their cold sleep. Cold sleep? Are you suggesting that three of us were, until recently, cryogenically frozen? Yeah. If you can trust what we re read, yeah. Which of us are the pod people, then? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It didn't say who they were, or even when they were frozen. So this cold sleep, that means they basically froze the body solid, right? Not like how a bear or something hibernates where it just slows way down. Yeah, I think so. So what would happen to the heart? Uh, what? Wouldn't it stop when you were put into a cold sleep? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. Oh, so if we go into cold sleep, our bracelets would come off. Then we could just defrost ourselves right away. You said there were three pods, right? We'd only need to do it three times for the nine of us. Uh-huh. I imagine that will work for you, but perhaps not so much for me. Yeah, probably not. The armor. It might not even fit. I'm sure we'll figure something out. We should go have a look at any rate. We'll be able to come up with a plan once we know more. Of course. What? What do you mean the cold sleep function doesn't work? I'm sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for, Luna. Zero Senior must have just locked it down. Yeah. But when Clover and I were in here, it yeah, worked. I remember checking it. Then that bastard set this up. Oh, that's low. It is not pleasant, but consider this. We have seen how thorough Zero is. Would he really have left such an obvious loophole? Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Still find it very upsetting how the Radical Six affected Quark where his brain tried desperately to justify his actions. Yeah. It is sad. If Zero Jr. heard me, he could have shut it off. Whatever the case, it is an unfortunate outcome. 
unfortunate? Really? Aren't you just a little bit relieved? After all, we were gonna get our bracelets off while you were stuck with yours. How could you say that? I would never be so petty as... I would never be as petty as you, Dio. You... <laughs> Before Kate could finish, the announcer's voice echoed through the facility. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex Game Polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Time's running out. We should get back, guys. I'm staying here. I can't leave Quark. Are you nuts, old man? You're a solo. Wait, there's a chance Alice isn't infected if you isolated Quark fast enough. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Luna and Phi could kill you. Although it, it, it could be a possibility of we're all infected. It's just, you know, affecting us at different times. Yeah, I know. I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you don't vote, you'll default to ally. All they have to do is pick Betray. We won't. You staying here won't change our vote. Right. We always intended to choose Ally. Ten Miyoji staying here is just another reason for us to stick to that plan. Me. Luna has the same number of BP as you, Ten Miyoji. Normally, the safe plan would be to choose Betray. Since you will be unable to betray them, then Phi and Luna can choose to ally without worrying about their own points. Yes. Well, there you go. I trust Phi and Luna. I'm sure they'll choose ally. Sounds good. Okay then, Tamioji, you take care of Quark. You think I need you to tell me that? Be me, be me, be me. I won't take my eyes off him for a minute. Be me, be me. Come on. We don't have much time left. We need to go. Just like, okay. Okay, like you you take care of Quark. I know what you do. You don't have to tell me. You you <laughs> Back at the floor wa a warehouse, we opened the AB doors. Four minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All right, Clover. We should probably head in too. Uh, okay. I hope Alice is gonna be okay. I guess it. Maybe it'll depend on what I vote. I'm not 100% sure. Sigma, do you remember what I said back in the other warehouse? Yeah, you were you were saying to uh betray Quark. Yeah, you told me that we could betray Quark since we might not get another chance like this. Yeah. Right. Can I um take that back? Sure. Huh? I changed my mind a little bit after talking to Ten Miyoji. I think we should choose Ally. Hey, that's more than just a little bit. That's like someone trading in a, a Shih Tzu for a German Shepherd. What the hell happened with you two? Did he say something to you? He... I can't tell you. What? Why? I just can't. You'd laugh if I did any... I won't laugh. Really? Promise. Well, I still can't tell you. Well, I mean, Quark has, I believe, 6 BP. It's only Tenmyoji and Alice that have one. Hey, come on! I promised. I told Tenmyoji I wouldn't tell anybody. But, but what if you told me anyway? <laughs> Alright, fine. I won't ask about it again. But Tenmyoji doesn't really have anything to do with this, right? Our opponent is Quark. Oh, he does matter. Quark is really important to Tenmyoji. If we betray Quark, we're betraying Tenmyoji. Come on, don't you remember? When we were going into the red, blue, and green doors, Tenmyoji said something. I didn't say there wasn't anyone I trusted. There's one person, Clover. I just know that you'll keep him safe. I can't betray somebody who'd say that about me. Right? That'd be, that'd be messed up. <laughs> You seemed pretty ready to betray him back on floor B. That's because I didn't know who he was. Oh, -ho! so you're saying you know who Tenmyoji really is? Well, if what he told me was true, yeah. One minute remains 
until Abadex game polling closes. Please choose ally. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna try it. Oh, bah, 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 bah. Get get out of my face, yawns. Get out of there. Get out of there. <sighs> you you weren't going to try and vote yourself? If I try, you'll just throw me off, right? I don't think I'm strong enough to fight you. So <laughs> Alright. With that I turned to face the voting machine. The question was, what should I do? Ally or betray? Just as Clover had said, betraying Quark was like betraying Temyoji. That wasn't even taking into consideration that Quark was just a kid, and he was infected by a deadly disease that would almost certainly kill him if we didn't do something. How could I betray someone like that? Only a monster would take advantage of a helpless kid for their own gain. On the other hand, what Clover had said in the warehouse on floor B was true. It was unlikely that I'd get a chance like this again. If I chose betray, then I'd have 9 VP. I would be able to escape this godforsaken hellhole. Ten seconds remain until Amadex game polling closes. Messed up, me messed up is thinking of ways to survive the di the dank and romper games. <laughs> Deciding to protect a kid is pretty good, right? <laughs> so what would my choice be? What would I do? Ally or betray? I chose three, two, one. We're gonna ally, and then Kay's probably gonna leave, and maybe even Theo. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Cause like, with Danganronpa, it's just like, must go. It's always nice to be in your shiva. It's always nice seeing you, nobody. I'm, I'm, I'm still sad that the scan thing was broken, but I'll see you later. <laughs> Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. But it's it's weird with the difference between like Danganronpa and some of these other games. What did you choose, Sigma? Like, like this game and Your Turn to Die, I think? Yeah. Because like Danganronpa is just like, you can just vibe here. You can just vibe here. You don't have to kill anybody. As, as far as I from what I remember from little snippets of it, but it's just like, just somebody is like, I want to get out of here, so I'm going to unalive somebody. <laughs> I'm going to unalive somebody and in a way, unalive everybody else because I want to leave. But it's just like, you know, this place is fine. Like you get all this, you get all that. You could just, you could just live here. And everybody is just like, no, I want to get out. <laughs> But like with this game, it's like, you know, you have to do puzzles, you have to vote against each other, you have to actually do some stuff in your turn to die. You just kind of have to like vote people off after a while. But like, Tangonopa, it's just like, yeah, you just you just live here. You you can leave if, if you want to unalive someone and not get caught. <laughs> Think and Rumper, as long as you survived without getting caught. So in theory, you can escape with only killing one person because you baited them into killing each other. Yeah. Like, but like, that that's, that's only if you want to leave. I'm distracted by her animations resetting. <laughs> but like, and I feel like, isn't it like, just like, society has fallen outside so it's kind of a better thing to just stay there anyway <laughs> i don't know one one day one day we will play danganronpa have you looked into deathmark uh a little bit i i looked into it a little bit i kind of forgot i think i accidentally opened something else in that same tab and so i forgot about it but thank you for reminding me you didn't see me push the button no Huh. Well, you'll know in a moment. Let's go. I gave her a light pat on the shoulder and headed towards the wall where the results will be displayed. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen.
Wow. 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 Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. I think... I feel like Kay and Alice did a good... a good decision. Because they knew Dia would pick Betray. Imagine if I hit Betray on accident. <laughs> so you chose Ally, huh? <laughs> yeah. Quark is sick, a kid, and unable to vote. I couldn't bring myself to betray someone like that. Thank you. No need to thank me. I only did what anyone else would do. So you guys chose Ally too, huh? Of course. Tenmyoji had only one BP left, and he was guaranteed to vote Ally, so there's no way we could betray somebody in that position. If we had, then he'd... he'd... He'd be dead. Yeah. Yawns, stop, please. Get out of my face. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have much choice. Alice, Kay, and Dio, on the other hand, seem to have had a less pleasant round. Hey, what the hell is your problem? You're either crazy or just an asshole. Were you trying to kill me? No, nothing like that. Well, then what was it like? If we'd voted ally, I... You would be dead. The needles in your bracelet would have activated, killing you. Sigma has major neck pain energy. Oh no! See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I didn't think there was any way in hell you guys would choose Ally, not with Alice's BP at one. The only way you could possibly vote was Betray. Picking Ally when I knew you guys would pick Betray would have been suicide. What? But Dio, you have six points! You can't die. You've got six BP. Well, maybe not immediately, no. But I would have been signing my own death warrant. Heck, not just mine. Everyone except K's. What? Didn't you think it through? Your vote was always going to be Betray. Let's say I was a raving lunatic and picked Ally. What would happen to K's BP? Six plus three would make nine. See? Then it'd be game over. Life over. He'd open the number nine door and blow this popsicle stand. That'd leave us twisting in the wind, living out the rest of our miserable lives stuck in this place. You see? That's why I chose Betray. I did it to save all our necks, including yours. Alice gritted her teeth and scowled fiercely at Dio, apparently trying to think of a rebuttal, before finally snorting indignantly and stalking away. Shortly thereafter, the warehouse was filled with the rumbling sound of doors sliding shut. So this is the first time Dio was thinking of others in the a way. The gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As many times as we want, huh? Then that means... We can play the A-B game as many times as we want, right? Hey, didn't Zero Junior say something about this? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The parent solo assignments hop around a bit too! Yeah, he did. Can you guys all show me your bracelets? I want to see what all the colors and groups are this time. Within moments, a series of wrists were extended for me to examine. I see. Luna and Clover are a cyan pair, and Phi and Alice are a magenta pair. The remaining all th three are all solos. K is red, Dio is green, and I am blue. So how are the groups supposed to work for the next round? I think the next room, the next doors are going to be those white ones down in the floor B warehouse. Yeah, I heard about those. Alice told me about them while we were here waiting for you and Clover. I think I've got them figured out. Yeah, so play it out for us. How are the groups going to shake out this time? 
Spine nodded and began to explain. Option A. Temioji and Quark, yellow, pair up with me, blue, to open the one door. Phi and Alice, magenta, pair up with Dio, green, to open another door. Luna and Clover, cyan, pair up with K, red, to open the last one. Oh? Is there only one option? Yes. No other combinations would be able to open the secondary doors. Admittedly, Tenmyoji and Quark aren't here for us to check, but I'm sure they're the yellow pair. If they weren't, then Sigma would be stuck without anybody he could pair up with. Oh god. I never thought I'd have to put up with Dio again. Well, you just didn't think hard enough then. Sooner or later, everybody puts up with Dio. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, everybody puts up with me. Wait, that's an insult. <laughs> so, um, what should we do now? It looks like we have a lot of time until the primary doors open. Yeah, about 80 minutes. I'm worried about Quark's condition. Those yeah. pods can't cure Radical 6. He still needs help. Well, we don't have anything to lose. So we might as well look for that medicine. Accelivir, right? Yeah. Yeah. What about the rest of you? Oh, I'll help. Self burn, that's a rare one, right? As will I. Me too. Uh, I guess I can help. What about you, Sigma? Of course I'll help. What kind of jerk wouldn't? Looks at Dio. Okay. We should split up and search. But um, after some discussion, Dio and Kay were assigned to the pantry, Luna and Alice to the treatment center, and Clover, Fi, and myself to the pressure exchange chamber. Shall we regroup in the Floor B warehouse ten minutes before the doors open? We all nodded. Kay turned to Alice and Luna. You are going to the treatment center, correct? Yes. Then please remember to tell Tenmyoji where we intend to meet and when. Okay. You must also remember to bring Quark with you. I am concerned about removing him from the pod, but it can't be helped. Without Quark's bracelet, Sigma and Tenmyoji will be unable to open the secondary door. Right. Good. Looks like we got all that straightened out. Let's go. With the final nod to one another, we split up, each team heading for a different direction. Ooh, so this route is probably gonna, um... This path is probably gonna open the paths, um, for where Phi and Kay can't go through the door because they're missing a person, and for us to get our bracelet off because we because we got negative one BP and we're dying. So we should be able to do those two endings with whatever we get for here. So this is the pressure exchange chamber. No, this is the prep room. There are two levels. The actual pressure exchange chamber is downstairs. How do you know that? Alice told me. She was one of the people who investigated this room. <laughs> Sigma, stop talking when my body needs me to yawn. <laughs> Did you talk to her when we were waiting for us to uh, back in the warehouse? Yeah. Well, let's head out downstairs then. Good idea. There's the pop zero. This is the route where Fight dies. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So this is the real thing. Seems like it. Why do they have something like this here? Well, this is just what Alice told me, but... Apparently the pressure inside the facility was a lot higher than the pressure outside. That was part of a system designed to keep the virus from getting in. It did mean, however, that we need to get through a decompression process in order to get outside. Remember all those suits along the wall of the prep room? Those keep you from getting infected. We won't even be able to enter the pressure exchange chamber if we don't have them on. I see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, then that newspaper article was right? Unfortunately, that seems pretty likely. So the air out there is teeming with Radical Six. Yeah. Something's been bothering me. What is it? Aren't you saying that if we put on those suits, we can go into the pressure exchange chamber and go outside, right? Oh. No, we can't do that. The door beyond the pressure exchange chamber is locked up tight. I'm gonna have it go on auto. Damn it. Just one door between us and freedom. And it's welded well, shut. If you look at it that way, it's the same as the number nine door. 
Okay, yeah, but... Um... Whatever. We need to be focusing on finding that Excelivir. Quark needs it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I'll go look around upstairs. You two take this floor, all right? Okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Are we gonna hug? We looked everywhere we could think of, but turned up nothing. Are we gonna hold hands? Eventually, I couldn't keep my mouth shut any longer. We have it backwards, it's... our... Hey, what do you think the deal is with this stuff about the world being infested with some crazy virus? We have it backwards, if it's high... Higher than outside air will blow out, but if you want to have it negatively pressurized so air gets sucked in. Mm? Have it backwards. If it's high... High than outside... Higher than outside air will blow out. But if you want to have it negatively pressurized so air gets sucked in. I don't know. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I think my brain power is so low it's just flowing over my head. A pandemic seems like it would make the news, but I don't remember hearing anything. Like, at all. Oh, wait a minute. You mentioned it, didn't you? Back when Dio was asking questions. We were in the infirmary. It was right after Quark lost it. Any of you guys heard anything about any sort of viral pandemic? Well, no. But... And then Alice said... I have heard rumors about a virus being used as a bioweapon. So, what's the rumor she was talking about? I got the feeling you and Alice were talking about the same thing. Clover, what do you know? What are you and Alice anyway? I heard you guys belong to some sort of organization, but what is it? Clover was quiet for a long time. She bit her thumbnail and looked down at the floor. Then finally, she lifted her head and met my eyes. Need to stop yawning. Fine. <laughs> I think I can trust you. <gasps> Just don't tell Alice, okay? Are we getting the Clover ending? All right. Promise. Promise. Clover nodded and began to talk. I listened with rapt attention, at a complete loss for words. Here is what she said. Alice and I are agents of SOAS, which is under the jurisdiction of the Department of Defense. SOAS stands for Special Office of Internal Security, and we're an elite intelligence division that investiga investigates potentially disruptive or dangerous elements, such as domestic or foreign terrorists, radical poli political splinter groups, and religious organizations with extreme agendas that could pose a threat to the state or citizenry. Well, our existence hasn't been made public, so there are only a few people who even know we exist. We're, you're probably wondering how I even got involved in something like that, huh? Well, it started when I met Alice. I told you that I've played the Nonary game twice before, right? Well, this was after the second time, so about a year ago. We've just escaped, and we were all stuffed into this SUV bar barreling across the desert. I was driving, and that's when I saw her. Alice. She was standing next to the road with her thumb out. She was already working for the SOAS, and she's been on her way to the building we'd been trapped in as part of her investigation. But on the way there, her car had broken down. We offered to give her a ride, of course. After she got in, we started talking, and it turned out Alice had gotten a tip from the, t from the terrorist she was, at she was after here in the building we'd been trapped in. We couldn't see how us playing the nonary game had anything to do with terrorists, but Alice had a suggestion. Maybe those people who trapped you in there are the terrorists. That didn't seem very likely to us, but we were chasing after them anyways, so we decided to bring Alice with us. Unfortunately, we didn't find them. As far as we know, they're still out there now on the run. 
Anyway, we were taken back to the SOAS headquarters and put into custody. I guess they thought there had to be some kind of connection between us being kidnapped and the terrorist group they were investigating. But they must not have found anything, because after a few days of questioning, they let us go. We were all- we all went home and returned to our lives. Except for me. But things didn't go back to the way they'd been. My mom got real worried about me and my brother, since we'd gotten kidnapped twice now, so she hired bodyguards for us. Oh, I haven't told you about my brother, have I? He's super awesome, for one. And he was in both of the last two Nonary games, too. So anyway, we'd been grabbed twice, but the people between the two Nonary games were different- totally different. That didn't matter to my mom, though, so after that, there was these huge men in black suits followed me and my brother everywhere. So this implies Alice dressed weirdly. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> she was just like, I like the Egypt aesthetic. <laughs> it was awful. We were always being watched. People would look at us funny because we were being followed around by a bunch of creepy looking guys. I couldn't stand it. Just when I thought I'd finally be free, all that was waiting for me was another kind of prison. The only time I was really happy was when I was hanging out with my brother. So we were t talking it over one day and we decided to leave. Like, run away. So we did it. After that, we lived on our own. I worked in the cafe and he composed music. He plays the harp and he started writing this kind of new agey music. It got kind of popular, so we didn't have to worry too much about surviving. Sometimes he'll play at little venues like coffee houses and stuff and his fans would show up and listen to him play and cry. For, or some of them would meet up on their own and recite stuff from a book he'd written and play his songs. I know this sounds kind of like weird and culty, but they just do that kind of stuff on their own, okay? My brother doesn't have anything to do with it. Don't worry. <laughs> he just has some stands. It's, it's weird, but it's fine. Anyway, we did that for a while, then one day Alice showed up. I need your help, she told us. We need people who can do what you can do. Yeah, a lot of Alice's outfits have an Egyptian vibe, yee. Yeah. So we went into the location she gave us, and it turned out to be the headquarters of Soas, where they'd taken us after the secondary nonary game. They put us in a room with about a dozen or so other people who were all about the same age as us. A bunch of them looked familiar, too. It only took a moment to realize how we knew each other. They were the kids from the first nonary game. We were all excited to see each other again, and we were hugging and shaking hands and stuff. And then Alice walked in. The whole room went quiet. She walked up to the podium and looked around the room, making eye contact with each one of us. Right now, a terrorist organization is preparing a major attack. They plan to trigger a viral pandemic. If they succeed, they will strike a massive blow against all humanity, not just any one country. It's possible that we, as a species, will die out completely. We are doing our best to prevent this, but we need your help. You are what we call espers. You have the ability to access the morphogenic field. We need that. I'm guessing you don't know what any of this is, but basically we can do this thing that's kind of like telepathy. I mean, it isn't really telepathy, but it, that's probably the closest thing, okay? Espers can resonate their consciousness with another person through this thing called morphogenic field. The purpose of the first Nonary game was to research that ability, so they kidnapped kids who had the potential to do it and threw them into the game. Alice had gathered up all the kids from that experiment. Well, I mean, it had been nine years since it happened, so we weren't really kids anymore. Anyway, everybody she's brought in was an Esper. That included me and my brother, of course. I bet you think I'm just making this all up. Oh, I don't blame you. It is pretty crazy. I mean, I was even starting to forget I could do that stuff. So when I heard Alice's story, I was like, screw that. I was trying to move on with my life and now some shady government creeps wanted me to use some weird ability I had for them? No way. I wasn't even sure I could do it anymore. Some of the others felt differently though, and they told Alice they'd do it. It was a job after all, and most people wouldn't turn down a salary like that. Oh, right, I forgot to tell you. She told us how much they'd pay us if we helped. It was a lot. More wealth than you can imagine. But I was still totally against doing it. My brother told me he'd go along with whatever I decided, so I decided we were leaving. A couple days passed and then Alice showed up at our apartment. She didn't waste time. The people behind the first known rear game might have been part of the terrorist organization Alice and the SOAS were after. Wasn't, wasn't that she asked something that I might want to know more about? That got me curious. My brother too, but the clincher was what Seven said to us. 
he was one of the guys that got abducted with us for the second nonary game. He called we, she called him on her phone right then and there and handed it to us. You guys are the only people who can do this. We don't know where Junpei is. He's gone off to travel the world looking for Akane. We haven't been able to get a hold of him. Please, just do me a favor and help Alice out. Junpei equals, like seven, another participant from the second nonary game. Akane, one of the people behind the second nonary game. Seven was a Japanese policeman, who was probably how Alice got in touch with him. Anyway, that did it. My brother and I agreed to join SOAS. For the next couple months, all we did was train. Half of the time it was general knowledge and technical skills a SOAS agent needed, and the other half was learning to strengthen our Esper abilities. They'd actually known about the Espers for quite a while, and they had a lot of techniques that helped us get better and stronger. After several months of hard work, we were finally ready to, for our first field missions. Mine was an infiltration. My brother stayed at the base, so I could relay information back through him. I was supposed to sneak into a research facility posing as one of the workers, and then use the morphogenic field to transmit what I found back to my brother. But everything went wrong. It was a trap. The whole research facility was fake and I got captured. Alice had to come and rescue me. I'd been sending information from the inside of the facility to my brother, and Alice used that information to come and find me. As soon as she got there, she picked me up and carried me out. That's when I fell in love with her. <laughs> I was relieved and happy to be alive and free, but I also felt ashamed and miserable. While she was carrying me back out, I started to cry. She was so cool, and I wasn't. I wanted to be just like her, so from that day onward, I did everything I could to be more like Alice. And our infiltration ended in failure, but we did manage to get something useful. In fact, we were able to figure out where their headquarters was. The directors decided that December 25th, 2028 would be the day we would strike. This time, I promised myself we wouldn't screw up. I was finally going to get more answers about something that had been with me for the most of my life. But then, on December 22nd, three days before the raid, Alice and I were attacked by people in gas masks while we were going over our plans. And when you woke up, you were in the yeah. warehouse. Yeah, the shady government creeps are the best people to know because if you know their secrets, you can blend, bend them to your will or they'll have you killed. Oh. All of that talking started to ha seem to have tired Clover out. She sighed, and her long hair swayed as she moved. Hey, uh, I've got a few questions. What are they? Well, first off, your, uh, powers, I guess. I'm guessing you can't use them right now? Yeah, I'm not really sure why. I've been sending my brother messages ever since I woke up, but... No response? Yeah, if there was another Esper here... They could make me stronger, but that's just wishful thinking. Wait. What? Well, if there's someone else who's stronger than me, then they kind of absorb my powers. Oh. Maybe... No, never mind. That's probably not it. Yeah, yeah, that would be silly. Right, whatever. I have some other questions, so moving on. I think I understand what Alice is talking about now. They were trying to spread that, spread that virus, right? Yeah. Okay, so who are they? Well, I can't tell you that. What? Why not? You told me all the other stuff, but this is too much? Well, Alice would be mad at me. I already told you I wouldn't tell her. But... Come on, fine. Let me rephrase. When are they going to do it? Well, if we knew that, we wouldn't have gone to all that trouble. <laughs> Yeah, may maybe Snake's dead. I, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sigma's a psychic, perhaps. Maybe he's the Esper. So you don't know? Did I read that bit? Yeah, or Clover did. No, all we know is... Soon. But that can mean just about anything. Yeah, it could be next week or next month or even next year. Or it could have happened already. Wait, you mean they might have already released the virus? Wouldn't that make the most sense? Like, how about this room? Or that newspaper article? And the three people who were put in cold sleep? 
Are you saying you, me, and Alice were frozen and the pandemic happened while we were on the ice? Wait. No, that doesn't make sense. Nobody else has heard of Radical Six either. Maybe they're lying. Really? All six of them? Well, if Kay really does have memory loss, then it's only five. Quark is out too. So you're saying Temioji, Dio, Phi, and Luna are all lying? Hmm, I guess they're a little suspicious. Right? And what's their motive? For lying? How would I know? Then what's the motive for a terrorist organization to start a pandemic? I heard it was something about purifying the unclean? Purifying the unclean? Oh, unclean. 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 What? What are you doing? Shut up. Just hold on a minute. I'm this close to remembering. Unclean. Clean. Een. Een. Een! Een? She leapt up suddenly excited. Neo stick mean! Neo what? <sighs> Did you forget it already? I'm talking about this stuff! As she spoke, she pulled out something of her pocket. It was the injection gun, complete with a vial of medication. Oh, right, I remember that. It was in the safe in the treatment center, right? Yeah! I didn't have any idea what it was, though, so I gave it to you. Exactly! Are you saying you've heard about this neostigmine stuff before? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just remembered. You remembered? My brother told me about that. Is a type of colon esterase inhibitor. What? That means it's a sort of antidote for tubocurine. Um, sorry, but I don't. I still don't get it. How easy do I have to make it? Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll start at the top. All right. Sounds like the voice of Harry Hey Suzumi. I don't. I don't know. I never watched the dub. I know that she is the voice of. Fuka, I believe her name is, from Persona 3. <laughs> but I don't know about how to eat. <laughs> the stuff I've got in here also, is neostigmine. Also, it counteracts the muscle relaxant tubocurine. Shush, Clover. How you doing, Simba? <laughs> Following me? Tub tubocurine is a poison in our bracelets, right? right? It's the second thing we get injected with if we're penalized. Could just push in on an end walker. Nice. I think my I think my playtime just ended and I might have to wait until next payday to continue my sub. <laughs> so you're saying this neostigmine keeps it from working? Yes! Oh my god, how many times are you gonna make me say it? <laughs> I could save someone, yee! So we can just inject ourselves with this if we get penalized. Yeah! Oh, this is how we save ourselves in that one round. Okay, yeah. We're gonna be okay. We can only pull the trigger once, though. That means we could only use it on one person. Yeah. Well, it's still good news. This means one of us can break the rules once. Like, let's the see. The best way to use it would be for sneaking through the number nine door. If somebody gets nine points, they can open it, right? With this stuff, somebody who doesn't have nine points could still leave with them. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna go tell Alice. What? Hey, Clover, wait! Clover! It was too late. Clover was already on the lift and gone. She got so excited. Damn. I was, I think understandably, upset. With no stairs, my only choice was to wait for the lift to come back down. As soon as it was back, I jumped on and headed upstairs. <laughs> yeah, you can save yourself, then kick Dio's butt. Yeah! Fi! Where did Clover go? Fi! Can you hear me? She didn't say anything, just stared at me with her mouth half open. Her eyes seemed slightly glazed, and her body was unnaturally stiff. Uh... Bye. I grabbed a shoulder and shook her gently. Slowly she raised her arm, fingers drooping limply from it. 
She gestured toward the exit that led away from the warehouse. That way? She went out that door? Faye's only answer was a slow, shallow nod. Right, got it. Thanks. I headed for the exit, then paused. You look pretty tired. Get some rest, alright? Still no response. There was something odd about her, but catching Clover seemed like more of a priority. I turned back around and jogged out of the door, towards the treatment center. Hmm. Okay, hopefully she's in here. That or we're gonna get another ending where a bunch of people are dead. This is weird. Where is everybody? I'd assumed Alice would be in the treatment center, so Clover would have gone there to find her, but the room was empty. Luna and Temioji were gone too. They had left Quark and the readout on the pod said his vital signs were still normal. As far as I could tell, he was still asleep. Fine, guess it's time to look for look somewhere else. I made my way out of the treatment center. I don't think we're gonna find Clover, guys. <laughs> well, as a bottle. Just set that down there. Hello, tracking? Hello? <laughs> I just fell asleep for a second there. <sighs> Man, where is everybody? Guys, any dead bodies in the crew quarters? What the hell? What is going on here? I can't find anybody. Every single room is empty. Wait, there's still one place I hadn't checked. The infirmary. Infirmary. Well, this is a bad room. <laughs> I ran into the room and stopped short. I might as well have run into a brick wall. My chest tightened so much I could barely breathe. No. What? What happened? I felt my whole body convulse. Whether from terror or nausea, I couldn't tell. My legs went limp and I crumpled to the floor. Something sticky pressed against the palm of my hand and I looked down to see blood. A vast, warm pool of fresh blood stretching out across the room, lapping at my legs and hands. Why? This can't be real. How could... Oh! Wait, fine! <laughs> Wait! In the middle of a lake of blood, like an island of flesh, were bodies. They were a bloody tangle of lifeless limbs and dead eyes, with too much blood and chaos for me to tell who was who. I had, had they sliced themselves open or stabbed one another? I couldn't tell. All the blood, too much blood. Whatever they'd done, it was clear what tool they'd used to do it. A scalpel lay in blood next to them, its handle and blade streaked with gore. This was how they had died, this tiny blade. I still don't get it. What does a clone, a nurse, and some chick off the street? Two ways, two, says Iron Man, a grandfather, some kid, and Sigma have in common. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh god, what happened here? Radical six? Probably. Oh god. This is it. It's all over. This is how it ends. That's right. I have to end it. This nightmare will finally be over. Time to... wake up. 
My fingers scraped against the floor as I picked up the scalpel. I lifted it slowly, carefully to my neck as if someone were guiding my hand with theirs, and drew it across my throat. What an ending, right guys? <laughs> but now we got the clover ending, I'm pretty sure. Yep, a clover end. And so now we have at least one place to go back to. Yeah, we have. Wait, we have two. Wait, OK, we, don't, we already did that one. OK, so we just have this one to go back to. How can Fi and Cave be? No, I didn't. Ah! <laughs> I did it again. Heck, red six makes you self-destructive and not murderous. Well. I think it also makes you unalive others, because that's the person... Um, remember there was the recording um, of the Mars mission. Um, I believe it was the Mars mission. Where was the other one? I guess we... Oh, right, because it wasn't working to freeze people, so we don't actually have that as an answer. <laughs> But she was like, I, I killed all six billion people. And it's just like, wow. <laughs> okay, so now we get to skip past what we need to skip until Sigma is like, hey, I remember. I remember now. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. My brother told me about that. Neostigmine is a type of cholinesterase inhibitor. That means it's sort of an antidote for tubocurine. I knew it! Do the one where Dio escapes it? We already did! <laughs> back! I found it so it's mine. That was like one of the first ones we got! <laughs> Of course, the antidote. the antidote. She killed six billion people by introducing the virus to the population. Mmm, mmm, okay, yeah. But still. But wait, no, she, she was like, I killed six people and then reiterated to the six billion. So she did buy her hand on the live six people and then herself. So they, they probably, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't have time to explain. I took off running towards the exit. Sigma, where are you going? Stay here. I'll be right back. I bolted out of the warehouse towards the treatment room. Just runs up, yoinks it off of Dio, runs back. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot this was the one that he asphyxiated. I think I think Dio put it in his pocket. Come on, come on, come on. Please still have it. Sweat was pouring down my face, but I didn't bother to wipe it off. There wasn't time. I dug frantically through Dio's coat until... Aha! Found it! Oh. There's only one dose. The injection gun uses the whole bottle at once. Shit. I can't save both of them. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. Yeah, she killed six others, but if you killed six billion, my hand would break. <laughs> Genghis Khan's kill count. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know, she... The six billion was probably from the, like, virus spreading out from her, but I don't know. <laughs> One minute! Shit. I spun around and shot out of the treatment center. Oh my god. Oh no. 
Oh no. No. You gotta be kidding me. Oh dear. Sigma. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First would be the anesthetic soparil. I blinked and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, I felt my like my mind was being stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, then I it's it, oh, I had my hand pressing on the the space bar. Oops. Um, my legs began to wobble and I gave and they gave out entirely as I crumpled to the floor. No. I couldn't fall asleep. I had to give one of them the antidote before my bracelet infected me with the tobacurine. With every ounce of strength I could muster, I forced my eyes back open. Kay and Phi lay limp on the floor in front of me. In my right hand, I could feel the injector gun with its precious cargo. I could only pull the trigger once. Who was I going to choose? Phi or Kay? No, what was I thinking? There was only one answer. Phi. I didn't even have a choice. After all, Kay's entire body was covered in impenetrable metal. I'm so sorry, Kay. I summoned up as much energy as I could and dragged myself towards Phi. After what felt like an eternity, I was finally within arm's reach. With no time to waste, I pressed the gun to her arm and pulled the trigger. S S Sigma, what the hell did you- I injected you with neostigmine. It's a type of clolysteris- clolysteris inhibitor. <laughs> it's the antidote to the muscle relaxant. Why did you- Because I can't use the injection gun on Kay. It'd never get through the metal. Then why didn't you inject yourself? <laughs> Guess you got a point. Honestly, didn't even cross You're my mind. The biggest idiot on the planet. Thank you. Hey, come on! Is that any kind of thing to say to somebody who's about to die? How about something more tender? No. Screw this. I don't want to live if it means being in debt to you. That's kind of rude. No goddamn way. I'm not gonna... Her words slurred and slowed and her eyes fluttered closed. She, was de she wasn't dead, of course. I could hear the faint sound of her breathing and see her chest rise and fall. Good. Phi's gonna be alright. But Kay... I looked over in his direction. That was when I noticed it. Open. There's a hole here on the back of your head. Yeah, it looks like you insert something. It says open, so maybe if we put some kind of key in there... You could open up the suit and take the mask off. Wait, then he... But... When could he have... It's yes. empty. Was there something in there before? It was empty when I found it. But what if he'd lied? Could Kay have taken the key? How he'd gotten it didn't really matter anymore. What did matter was that Kay had been able to remove his armor. And he had. Holy shit. Then... Then that would mean... Dio's killer is... I coaxed as much strength as I could from my increasingly lethargic body and crawled towards Kay. Kay! Wake up! Come on, talk to me! I grabbed his shoulder and shook him until he finally shifted and spoke. Sigma. I just need to know one thing. Did you kill Dio? You weren't sleeping, were you? After I left, you took off your armor. You didn't want to go the same way I had, so you took the other door. After you went the long way around through the warehouse and the crew quarters, you headed for the elevator. Does that time out up? I guess it would have to, technically. That's such a long way, though. 
That's such a long way. We're really, really that gone for that long? I bumped into Fine. We went back to the lounge to check on you. We saw you, or we saw your armor, I guess. By then, you would have been out of it. While we were in the lounge, you went to the treatment room and killed Dio. You must have turned off the oxygen in his pot, although you probably didn't stick around to make sure he died. I'm betting you were in a hurry to get back before Fai and I noticed something was up. Once you got back to floor A, you needed us out of the lounge, so you made a noise in the hall to lure us out. Then you ran around and took the long way back to the lounge so you could enter through the rear door. It's like, after all this in explanation, it's just silence and Kay is like... How the f <laughs> Once you were there, you put your suit on again and waited for us. As soon as we found Dio's body, we did exactly what you'd expected. <laughs> Kay was streaking. Oh no, he was! <laughs> Kay, wake up. Something's happened. You pretended to wake up, very disoriented and confused. W what is it? Come on, Kay. I'm almost out of time. Did you kill Dio? Hey, yes. Your reasoning is correct. I... I killed him. Why? Because I couldn't forgive him. He took the life of someone very important to me. I couldn't... Who did he kill? Wait, are you saying... Yes, I am. She was the woman who came here when I was 18. Whoa, hold on. What do you mean here? Sigma, unfortunately we are out of time. There's something I have to tell you. I made a promise that you would hear it. Do you understand? This is... Okay, I get you, Kay. I get- I get you, Kay. Let me- let me clear off the screen. Okay, what do you need to tell me, Kay? I cannot forget. Forget? He wasn't making sense. I was about to die. How on earth would I be remembering anything for more than a few seconds? If you see a lion with two heads devouring the sun, remember- remember these letters. Um, uh, password milk. E Voli. He loves milk. <laughs> loves backwards milk. This will open the second gate. Okay. Uh second gate. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? Hey, Kay, who told you to tell me this? No, who are you? Show me, show me who you really are. I grabbed a hold of Kay's mask and tore it off and popped off his head. Oh. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a Dante situation all over again. <laughs> This is the first iteration of it! <laughs> also, hello, Bailey. You came at the at a great moment. <laughs> K 
Ken Sigma siblings are a part of the same cult. Well, they have the same face. <laughs> what? No, that's that's impossible. That face. It's it's my face. <laughs> I felt a sharp pain in my left wrist, and my body collapsed unceremoniously. The second drug. Turbocurine. My vision began to blur, and my head felt unnaturally heavy. The world faded away, and my consciousness slipped down into the, wor into the cold, dark waters of nothingness. So, so if Dio saw K, he was probably just like, like Sigma. Why the f are you naked? <laughs> yeah. <that's... laughs> My goodness. K and okay. That's awesome. We got two endings today. We got two endings and we still have we still have more. Okay. So now we have to go here. Yeah. I believe it was here. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Oh gosh, that's very flashy. Oh wait, second gate. We probably don't have the first half of what we need then. Oh yeah, cause, okay, so we have the password, but we don't have the ID. Heck, okay. I, I got too excited. Okay, so we need to actually... We need to be on this half of things. So let's... Let, let's just go for this one. What? No, skip. There you go. Okay, we have all these. Um, who's all in danger this time? Is it still Alice and Temioldi? Or are we also in danger? We might also be in danger. I forget. We have a lot to go through here. <laughs> but we need to get the ID from somewhere in here. Okay, we got the lounge. Because we have the password for it. We just need the ID. Infirmary. We just gotta go through everything. Have Alice be- Oh, did we betray Alice? Yeah. I think that's what we did. I believe. I think. Now we get to talk about Schrodinger's cat. Oh, I didn't think those buttons would have opened the flow chart. It's true. And I worry I, about I just, what might be happening to the world outside. I just wanted to have my ears. <laughs> Why are so many of my my shortcut buttons shortcuts for this game? There. <laughs> That's silly. Okay. You see? What do I see? For several long moments, we just stared in silence. Slowly, we began to eye one another. Old suspicions slowly reawakened. It was Fi who finally broke the silence. Doesn't look like it has a timed detonator. There must be a remote somewhere. You're right. It'll probably use an active button or a switch of some sort, not a dead man switch. If we can get it, we should be safe as long as we don't press the button. Hmm. Hmm. Who was the first person to find this? Me. We found it while we were searching this room. I thought you and Luna were in the lounge. Well, yeah. 
We looked all over, but we couldn't find anything there. So we gave up on the lounge and came here. I can confirm that. I wanted to look around the lounge some more, so I stayed back. You guys must have found it when you got here, then? Yes. How did you know it was a bomb? Miyota Auto. Well, I mean, I could tell just by looking at it. Yeah. Why? It looked well, like a bomb. During my train. <laughs> Clover. <laughs> Clover's eyes widened and she clapped her hands over her mouth. During during my waitress training. Anyway, this is definitely a bomb. I guarantee it. How do you know? I just do, okay? You sounded pretty sure about the switch, too. How do you know all this? Let's just say it's an occupational hazard. What kind of occupation do you have? <laughs> I'm imagining Sigma getting blamed for streaking, but it was really king streaking, right? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's just like Dio's just like why what Sigma, why are you naked? <laughs> I can't tell you that. Spare me the bullshit. This isn't time for keeping secrets. Please. Just trust me. Look, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm sure that's a bomb. Wait. How am I how is it skippable? It's not just any kind of bomb. Okay, that's it's that's weird that it was skippable. Bomb. Antimatter. <laughs> What? Wait, you mean a bomb that uses annihilation energy? Oh, you know what that is? Anyway, yes, you're right. Uh, what's Annihil Nation? Oh, <laughs> I would have thought you'd know. Huh? Why? Well, your name is Quark. You do know what that means, right? Yeah. Grandpa told me about it. He said it's an elementary particle. One of the smallest bits of matter, but I don't really know anything else. <laughs> I see. Can you explain it to him, Tenmyoji? Me? Me? Well, you know him best. I thought you could explain it best. Uh, let me think. Um, I don't know. It's hard to think of a way to explain it in simple terms. You want me to do it? Yes, please. Fai nodded and turned to Quark. All okay. goes boom, yeah. To begin with, <laughs> we usually refer to bits of matter as particles. It meets other but matter. there are also yeah. these things called antiparticles. For example, an electron is a particle with a negative charge. It has a sort of opposite, which is the antiparticle called the positron. It has a positive charge instead of a negative one, like the electron. So, protons have antiprotons and neutrons have antineutrons. Antimatter is a general term that covers all the antiparticles. The thing that's interesting about antimatter is that because it's the opposite of normal matter, when they collide, they both sort of cancel each other out. When they cancel each other out, though, it releases a whole bunch of energy. That process is called annihilation. So, an antimatter bomb is a bomb that uses annihilation energy. Um, sorry. I don't really get it. Oh. All right, how about this? You've got men and women, right? They're kind of like complete opposites. What happens when you put them together? Um, they boink. Well, if there were, uh, quantum men and women, then when you put them together, they disappear. Oh. Because their opposite elements cancel each other out. Like when a plus cancels out a minus, you get zero. That's annihilation. But when you get annihilation, you also get... I know! A baby! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. In this case, the baby you get is the energy from the annihilation. It's not a real baby, of course, but like a baby, it's got all sorts of potential to do amazing things. That's kind of a strange explanation. You followed it, though, right? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, Quirk's that so thing proud. under the bed isn't going to be making a baby. Just how big of a... Uh, just how big of an explosion are we going to get here? It's pretty simple, actually. Just use Einstein's E equals MC squared. The mass lost during annihilation will be converted to energy, so... 
So you would take the total mass of matter and antimatter and multiply it by the speed of light squared. That should get you the amount of energy. For example, let's say that it has 350 milligrams of antimatter. That would mean there would also be 350 milligrams of matter, right? So you'd have 700 milligrams total. Yes. That means annihilation would produce roughly 63 trillion joules. Oh, 63 trillion joules? That's about as much energy as the Hiroshima bomb. Oh. What the? You've got to be kidding me. But there's only 350 milligrams of stuff in there. Well, technically it's 700 milligrams since you have the matter and the antimatter. That's not the point. We're talking about something that weighs less than a gram being equal to a bomb that weighed like 10,000 pounds. Don't get so excited. I think I know what kind of bomb this is. It's probably using antihydrogen. There should only be about 25 micrograms of material in there. That's less than a thousandth of a gram. So you'd only get about 45 billion joules of energy, right? What does that mean? About as much explosive power as one ton of TNT. A ton? Yes. Well, approximately. And how exactly should I not worry about that? That's enough to blow up a ten-story building! True. But it's a lot less powerful than an atomic bomb. <laughs> we don't know how big this place is. If we can get far enough away from the bomb, we might have a chance of survival. Maybe. Perhaps. But how do we know this is the only bomb? What do you mean? Look at it carefully. It's got a number three. Do you see it? Yeah, you're right. If the bombs are numbered... Then there could be a number two or a number one bomb out there, huh? Yes. There's no way to know if this is the final bomb either. There could be a fourth, or a fifth, or... There's an unknown number of bombs out there. Anyway, we can't just sit here and do nothing. We should move it. Somewhere. Somewhere, anywhere. Dio stepped forward and reached for the bomb. No! Don't touch it! Ellis grabbed Dio by the wrist and jerked him away from the bed. Because you don't know what's going to activate it. What the hell do you think you're doing? Have you got a death wish or something? Probably. This bomb is here because somebody planted it. Do you really think they didn't rig it to go off if some idiot tried to move it? Then what the fuck are we supposed to do? We'll just have to leave it be for now. Until we can find the detonator or figure out how to turn it off. And you're telling us we should just prance off and ignore the incredibly deadly bomb that is probably gonna kill us all? There's not much else we can do. Do you know how to turn it off? Hello, Moki! Yeah, Dio. Dio is a sweary boy. <laughs> In the first game it was Santa, and now it's Dio. Well, there is a way. Then spill the beans, lady. How do we turn the damn thing off? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. Why is it always when I'm yawning that Sigma wants to speak? So we just need to get this password? Yes, that's right. But there's no keyboard or anything on the bomb. Look again. You see it? Right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. Hmm, I see. So, where is that? Where was, where was that input Who device? Who would do something like this? Probably Dio. I have no idea. But we can figure out when they did it. Oh, when yeah? When you and I searched this room, we didn't find anything, right? So that means the bomb must have been planted after we'd left. So, what's you talking about the matter and antimatter will revert itself back to energy? In theory, when the universe went through the Big Bang, some of the energy gathered together to create hydrogen, but stars came along, fusing the hydrogen into every element up to iron. When there was a supernova, that make most of the elements past iron. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
it it stay in a lot of ma matter and antimatter fuels and then go boom. <laughs> I think. After we left, huh? But when we went and checked the chromatic doors, we were all there. And after that, we've all been around other people. There's no way any could have anybody could have snuck off to plant it. I don't know about that. After we finished the AB game, we all split up. But if someone planted it right before then... What do you mean? Oh, yeah. You don't know, do you? Before we went off to the three rooms, we searched the hallway. Everybody was all split up. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Anyone could have come by here then. It would have been easy to sneak away. Yeah, especially you, you Dio. Know, I don't remember seeing you around, Sigma. What were you doing? I don't remember. I've been in another timeline for a while. <laughs> ha, well, I was, uh... I was just kind of deep in thought, I guess. I stayed behind in the warehouse when you guys left, went off. I know that's not a good alibi at all, but, you know. Hey, why are you guys giving me that look? You don't think I planted it, do you? I never said that. Not out loud, you didn't. You've gotta be kidding me. I don't know anything about this bomb. Really? Are you sure? Back when we were in the AB room, you said you saw the moment when the bomb exploded. But that was a, d d just a. I could hardly say premonition. If they didn't think that it was the worst lie on the planet, they'd think I was insane. Fi, why did you have to say something like that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. This doesn't make any sense. According to Temioji, any one of us could have been in here. Why am I the only one who's under suspicion? Also, also, there's no way to know the culprit here is actually one of us. Maybe there's someone else in here, and they set up the- Impossible. Why? There's no way that would get past Zero, and there's no way Zero would let anybody do something that would get in the way of the game going forward. Um... What? When you say Zero, you mean the AI, right? Of course. This is confusing. From now on, let's refer to the real Zero, the one behind all of this, as Zero Senior, which would, of course, make the AI Zero Junior. Okay, fine with me. Anyway, whichever one it is, they're not going to let a tenth person in. There's no way. But what if the tenth person is Zero Senior? I don't think it could be. Why not? Well, Zero Junior said so. He said that the real Zero was one of us. I mean, technically there's 10 people if we count the dead lady. I don't think we saw her in this route, though. Fine and Clover were right. There couldn't be a 10th guest. And Zero Senior was, without a doubt, one of us. But if that was the case, then could Zero Senior have planted the bomb? If not, then who had? Alice? Dio? Luna? Kay? Clover? Ten Miyoji? Fi? Or... It seemed insane, but could it have been Quark? No. Why would Zero Senior have gone to all the trouble of setting a bomb? To make this game more exciting? To make it seem more dangerous? No, it didn't fit it at all. But if that had been the case, then the person who planted the bomb was someone other than Zero Senior. Oh no, this is bad. What is it? Press the buttons on your bracelet. Oh, we got four minutes. Oh, shit. Is this for real? We only got four minutes until the chromatic doors open! Let's go, then. You're right. This bomb thing is gonna have to wait until later. Yeah. All right. Now we get to figure out what teams to do. Let's see. There's probably gonna be only two ways. Oh, wait. No, there wasn't a split in this one. So it might be a case where we only have one decision in this, in this round. It's probably going to be a case where like Alice is like, I don't want to pair up with Sigma. Absolutely not. He's stinky. He's smelly. Who would pick Betray in the first round? Not me, except for the next uh, time 
flow chart thing? No, totally not. I would never. Relax. I have things to do after we escape. <laughs> Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. There's a thing where you have two metal plates close to each other in a vacuum. You can see a bunch of particles pop up, but when but then disappear as quickly as they popped up. Interesting. The doors have opened. We need to figure out who's going where and fast. Um, so our options this time are, uh... We don't have time to wait for you to figure it out. Just pay attention. I'm only gonna say this once. So angry. Violate out our options. Option A. Luna and I pair up with Clover and open the green door. Temioji and Dio pair up with Alice to open up the red door. Okay, I feel like option A probably isn't happening. Quirk, K and Quark pair up with Phi to open up the blue door. Option B. Luna and I pair up with Phi to open up the red door. Temioji and Dio pair up with Clover to open up the blue door. K and Quark pair up with Alice to open up the green door. Option C, Luna and I pair up with Alice to open up the blue door. That's probably not happening, so we're probably having to do option B. Temioji and Dio pair up with Phi and open up the green door. K and Quark pair up with Clover to open up the red door. Probably do an option B. Three minutes remain until chromatic <laughs> doors close. Okay, how are we going to do this? We need a system here or we'll never have time to argue it out. Why don't we let the people who are at the most disadvantage right now decide? The most what? The people who only have one BP. Oh, so that would be me, you, and Temioji. No way. I refuse. Well, then who would you- what would you suggest? We'll be fair and take a vote. So wait, okay. So this- so we didn't betray Alice this round, I suppose? If it's- if it's me and Phi in danger. A boat. So we all just like raise our hands for the option we want? Exactly. So which one do you want, Alice? And here I was thinking Alice was angry at us for, for betraying her, but no, she's just angry at us because she hates us and betrayed us. <laughs> option C. I want to go with Sigma and Luna. Wait, what? Tough. Pick something else. My, my. Looks like you're not so fond of me anymore. You're not fond of me when I betray you! So if you're gonna be a f then I'm not gonna pair up with you! Do you agree with him, Luna? I'll just let Sigma decide. Fine. I'd like option C, too. Clover and I were a pair for the first round, so I feel that I can trust her. What about you, Quark? That's fine with me! So that's three votes for option C, counting mine. How about the rest of you? I'd like to pair up with Sigma and Luna, too. So option B then. I'd like to go with Phi. You good with that, Luna? Um, sure. I really don't mind. No, we've got three votes for option B. I'd like to go with option A. You want to pair up with Alice? You're a strange duck. Hm. How about you, Tenmyoji? I don't mind going with option A. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. So, two votes for A, three votes for B and C. If Clover's vote doesn't decide this thing, we're gonna have to figure something else out. Which one do you want, Clover? I... um... I wanna go with option C. Quark chose ally in the first round, and I was with K in the first round. Then that's what we're doing. Option C had won four votes. We were almost out of time, and I didn't exactly have a convincing argument. I was going to have to go with the majority. Remain until chromatic doors close. Interesting. Nine, eight, seven. The doors are closing. Let's go. Come on, Luna, hurry up. We've got to get up to the blue door. Right. Luna, Al Alice, and I dashed through the blue door. I looked over my shoulder in time to see the others disappearing into their doors. Clover, Quark, and Kay had ended up in the red door, and Phi, Dio, and Temioji had gone through the green door. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing.
Huh? There's three doors here. It looks like they're all locked, though. Does that mean this is just a dead end? Well, there's a weird lever thing over here. Try pulling it. How about you try pulling it? Hey, what's with all this hostility? Are you still mad about the last AB game? Me, 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 me. Of course I am. Please don't fight. We need to work together or we're really going to be in trouble. Please. <sighs> Very well. I'll pull the lever then. Is that okay? Yeah, go right ahead. See if I care. Alice, calm down. Calm yourself. <laughs> one of the doors opened. But only one. I wonder how you open the other ones. Who cares? We should get moving. Me, me. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> I think I remember which route I'm getting. I think. What is this place? Don't tell you we somehow managed to get outside. I doubt it. Look up. There's a ceiling up there. Yeah, I remember the door said bee garden or something. What's a bee garden? It probably stands for something. Or maybe beautiful? Right, Luna's cutie. Huh. This feels like a whole other little world. Like an oasis in the middle of this all this metal. I feel kind of weird saying this, considering where we are, but this place feels so liberating. All of this green. It's wonderful. It's huge, though. We'll wear ourselves ragged trying to search the whole thing. This must be the exit. Damn. Well, so much for this being easy. It's unlocked. We should split up and look around. Agreed. Well, let's get to it then. Seek way out. Okay. So now that we are here, I feel like it is a good time to take a little break. Because this will take a little bit to get it all ready. So, let me get it all ready for the BRB screen. Everybody, this is a good chance to get up and stretch, maybe get a snack, use the bathroom, get something to drink, all that good stuff. Just take a little, little break, and then we'll be back in 10 minutes. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen it do that. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a meter and 38 centimeters. <laughs> the full plump feeling. <laughs> No. <laughs> Plentiful, plump feeling on my left shoulder, and the sour sensation of a young, unripe fruit on my right. Keichi, Keichi, no. <laughs> boom, boom, bang. Become the narwhal and run the up. <laughs> Give me a minute, okay? No. What? Belly's in the way of everything. How dare you? Back. Whoops. Freaking. Watch it. Yep. <laughs> take take my streamer word. It is very very pure and wholesome. <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing degenerate happens there. <laughs> I think I heard it before on YouTube. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, I like... Uh, <laughs> I like the angel. They're my favorite. <laughs> I just saw a small dragon lying. <laughs> I just can't this down! <laughs> Look at what you've done. <laughs> there is no doubt that there that would be what the world was like if you never showed up. You were the obstacle, the mistake, the heresy in the world. But if I would correct that mistake now, 
I would erase you and make it so that last week never happened. Tonight was the Watanagashi festival, the holy night where taking just one life was permitted in the name of Oyashido-sama's curse. Ah, it looked like the Higurashi stopped crying at some point. When the Higurashi cried, everything would end. And the Higurashi silenced. Lowly one, the hour of atonement is at an end. The Higurashi have stopped their crying. Thus, it is the end. The end, the end, the end, end. You don't have to run away anymore. Die with those dirty brains of yours smashed everywhere. <laughs> Come to me, K pop murder. <laughs> oh my god, I swore it. And we have that on stream. Oh no! <laughs> if it gets clipped, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be the new DLC murderer. <laughs> you know what to do, Crimson. <laughs> Crimson, I swear to heaven. <laughs> Let me adjust my position real quick. I think. I just wish I remember how to activate breakdance. Yay! We did it! Well, I didn't. Is about this long. That might that might look weird. weird. There we go. <laughs> there is my tail. <laughs> it is it is big and squishy. <laughs> but uh, it's about mm, it's almost as long as me. But oh, how old I deity? But uh, mm, I'd say four feet. KLOB, spinning records for all you interns, out turns, his turns, her turns, and their turns. Ah, <gasps> their turns. Oh no, no, it's stuck. It's stuck. Okay, let's see. There's a few more health things, and then there's half a brain, which I'm not sure how to get to immediately. Okay, I think with just this last one, I should be able to be at full. Well, knock, knock, open up the door. It's real with the pop, pop, cop, top, and stainless steel. Get back here, elephant. Which buildings? Yes! Yes! Give us back the buildings. The chaos. <gasps> the Loch Ness Monster showed up! Hello! Hello! Message. Oh! It's from your manager. He's up, can you count down from 10 really quick? Uh... Sure? <laughs> Uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Wow! No! <laughs> you tricked me. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do something. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> I figured it was gonna- I thought it was gonna be a scan, but... <laughs> but you got me. <laughs> um, it's from the manager. <laughs> uh, oh. Are these gonna be the same? Worth it. I've come to make an announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog is a <laughs> Mother <laughs> He pissed on <laughs> wife. That's right. He took his hedgehog <laughs> quilly, quilly <laughs> and he pissed on- he pissed on my wife, and he said his was this big, and I said that's disgusting. So I'm making a call out post on my Twitter.com. Shadow the Hedgehog, you got a small is the size of this walnut, except way smaller. And guess what? Here's what my dong looks like. 
That's right, baby. All points, no quills, no pillows. Look at that. It looks like two balls and a bong. <laughs> he my wife, so guess what? I'm gonna the earth. That's right. This is what you get. My super laser piss. Except I'm not gonna piss on the earth. I'm gonna go higher. I'm pissing on the moon. How do you like that, Obama? I pissed on the moon, you idiot. You have 23 hours before the piss droplets hit the let us into the school. We need more victims. The present! I got a new present! Why is there a policeman here? Junsa Tanaka. Okay, I think. Come on, just just grab it and I can get you out of there. <laughs> I am stuck in the corner, you're stuck in the corner. Here we go. I looked away for a second and he was gone. Hello? Froggy? <laughs> Where did Froggy go? <laughs> uh, okay, there he is. Oh, that's way too close to the wall. I made a mistake. <laughs> he did get endgamed. <laughs> he was just like, I can't. Then I could tell how hard you worked. But Anna, don't feel like you need to compliment me. Sorry, I, I wanted to duet. <laughs> I'm, I can't believe you'd figure out everything. Down to the phone conversation. Just from what was inside the fridge. <laughs> you got me there. You've got me. You've got me. <laughs> As if the dam had burst, Mion convulsed into laughter. Her laughter, though, definitely didn't make us want to laugh as well. Give me the yellow. I wish to proceed, please. Please. Please let me in. Um. Mm. Um. This is very worrisome. We are back. Hopefully everybody had a good, nice little break. <laughs> okay, so now we are back into the garden. I think there's something here, but I can't really tell. What is that? Maybe I should get a closer look. We're going to have to cross the water to get over there. Please be careful. If you slip, you could fall into the stream. Clicking the blue arrow will move you from the current area to the adjacent one. I, I like the music in this area. Okay, we got a metal rod. We got a bunch of buttons. Huh? There's something next to my foot. How do I accidentally find a key? <laughs> oh. I forgot the Nishishanji audition was last week, but hey, I can use this time to improve and update my profile. Yay! Are you auditioning, Rocket? Or... Let me see. Oh, there's a mushroom. Can't see anything from here. Okay, we have to go back. A red spotted mushroom. I think I'll try digging here. That is not a mushroom. <laughs> okay. Uh, combine it with the key, perhaps? No. Okay, these don't fit. Let's see. Okay, let's go back over here. We need to look over here. Mm, so... Okay. So that's telling us there's different... Oh, okay, we have a bronze key, so we need to dig under a bush of some kind. Oh, what are these? Hey, it's a paprika! No, that's a pepper. 
probably a bell pepper. Paprika is what you call the spice you make from them. Oh. Huh. Why is it split in half? I'm not sure. Wait. Is there something in there? Oh yeah. Let me take a look. Got a yellow coin. Okay. So... There are leaves sprouting off the ground here. They look like onions. Someone is growing tomato vines in these stakes. Each vine has several red tomatoes hanging off of it. There are some vines with cucumbers growing on them hanging out of the frame. I see. Those are some very pointy cucumbers. It's just a flower pot. There's nothing special about it at all. Wait! Don't people usually hide the, their house keys under a flower pot or in the mailbox? They do? Just trust me. I'm sure there's something under there. Okay, so now we can combine that with this guy. A doubly torn scrap of paper. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to audition, but I forgot about it, so I don't even didn't even get the audition video edited. Oh no! I'm sorry about that rocket. Okay, let's get this shovel. There's always next time. Got a metal detector. Tu fui ego eris. Oh, not the metal detector. We need the shovel. Oh. You're going to dig up the skunk cabbage? Poor things. It's never done anything to you. Don't worry. I'll replant it when we're done. Okay. As we... <clears throat> as we don't. Looks like the soil was disturbed recently. Okay, so now we need... Oh! A metal scale. There's a plate on each side. On the right plate, a gold key. Which we got the gold chest, so we can open that. And then combine that with that. And on the left plate, a knife! There's something in the drawer. What is it? Feels like it's metal. It's a piece of metal. Hmm. So now... What do you have? A knife! Wah! <laughs> this looks like a paring knife. What is that? It's a knife you use for a small delicate work. Like... Deveining de de shrimp. But you can use it to cut pretty much anything. That's awesome. Um... You know all about cooking and stuff. I bet Alice just cuts things with her bare hands. <laughs> I guess it's time I showed you just how good I am at cooking things. I think I'll start by cooking you. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. What is this? Looks like some sort of mosaic tile at the bottom of the pond. Bottle. A lion. Yeah. Looks like a lion, all right. Maybe it'll like a, a sun coin. Hmm, I guess not. Okay. Um, do we have to put in this? Not really. Oh! Can we combine these two things? A lever handle. Yay! <laughs> okay, so now there's a bush that we need to dig up. Um, so those are just over here. They don't really look- it doesn't really look like there's bushes. Hmm. Is that a Japanese Velkova? Zelkova? They grow to over 20 meters, so this one's probably still pretty young. Does that mean it'll break through the ceiling eventually? <laughs> then maybe we can use it to escape. Hey, that's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, I know, because it's idiotic. Keep flying, you don't have to- you don't have to be so mean. Hmm, okay. So those are probably... So it's probably representing the trees, not bushes. Hmm. No, I didn't want to click you. Um... There's not really necessarily bushes. Hmm. There are three buttons on the panel. I pushed them, but nothing happened. Do you think they're broken? Maybe you just need to press them in a specific order. Not that order. Hmm. 
think maybe you need to press the buttons in a specific order. Do you think maybe the order is written down somewhere? Maybe. Oh, whoa, they even made a waterfall. Hold on, doesn't it look like there's something built into the rock wall behind the waterfall? Yeah, the walkway goes under it, doesn't it? I wonder what's back there. Hmm, so maybe we need the metal detector for something. Looks like the dirt's been piled up in a few places. There's green moss growing on top of it too. You think the mold here is higher than the others because someone dig up a bunch of dirt and piled it here? I guess this is where we dig. <laughs> All right, let's try digging here. I'm getting so tired of Twitter bots, same. <laughs> it's like every time I make a post, there's at least one GFX bot that's like, hey, I can make you, I can make you assets. And then like every now and again, I, I'll get a DM and it's just like, hi. Aren't you going to reply to me so that way I can design you something with stolen art? <laughs> um, okay. So, left, right, right, left, mid, mid, right. So, left, right, right, left, mid, mid, right. And I made a post making fun of that. Ye? Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing that one. It's just like, <laughs> hi, can I have uh, your your three funny numbers and your childhood pet name and all this? I just I just want to connect. Ooh. <laughs> and their waterfall stopped. I guess that was the waterfall control panel. Oh gosh. This panel controls the flow of the waterfall. I don't need to mess with it anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, that was a funny bait post to get people to talk to me. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess I didn't see the, the one for bots yet. I did one on the other Twitter account. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Hmm. So we need to metal detect some stuff and get a few more coins. Um, there's so many places to click. Um, yes, I want emotes. No, I don't want them from UGFX. <laughs> Noise. Um. Oh, when did it turn into the coin? Oh! Oh! The metal detector seems to be responding to this tomato! Alright, grab it. Okay. <laughs> My comments were full of bots and I was like, point in, <laughs> point in case, ye. <laughs> did it react to any of the others? No, just this one. Here you go. Okay, so combine that with knife. And so we got a red coin. Okay. So now I'll get this back here. That was my foot rubbing against my desk. I did get some real people later on. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this one. It's reacting to this onion. All right, let's dig it up. So now I actually have someone to commission this next week. Nice. <laughs> this is the only one that got a reaction, I think. Okay, so combine that with the knife and we got a white coin and so now oh look the metal detector is re reacting to this one okay can you grab that one then right did any of the others cause any reaction no just this one here you go okay combine that with knife okay so now we were all knifed up and now do we have any idea of how to order these coins? Probably not. I got one with stolen art from Mars. I knew, oh no! Um, hmm. So let's just kind of put them randomly in here. Maybe let's put the white one in there and then the green one in here. No? 
Oh, probably maybe size. Oh gosh. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So. Whoops. Mmm, so there are still a lot of onions. If we start digging any deeper, our clothes are going to get dirty. That's okay. If you get dirty, you can wash off your clothes in the stream. Are, are you trying to get me to take my clothes off? There's quite a few cum cucumbers here. Judging from the firmness, thickness, and length, they all look pretty good specimens. Firm, thick, long. Hey, you want one of these cucumbers, Alice? Really? Sure. Cool, but can you, like, kind of slide it down into your cleavage and then take a bite? I'm not hungry anymore. Yeah, I've lost my appetite too. I want to make a bot to bait other bots that checks to see if they're bots and reports them to Twitter instead of- in, or isn't doing enough to solve their bot problem. Yeah. That wouldn't turn and do nothing because reports from a bot would do nothing because it would be flagged as a mass reporting bot. Yeah, that is that is true. Um, what should we do with the rest of this tomato? Well, we can't really plant it, and it doesn't seem fair to eat it without telling the others. I guess we could just leave it here then. I think it would be best. We could always come back and eat them if we can't find anything else. There are a lot of onions. There are a lot of cucumbers. Hmm. But we want it, like... Mm. Yellow, red, white, green, maybe? Yellow, red, white, green. Yellow, red, white, green. Yellow, red, white, green. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe something like this? Oh! <laughs> but what's that noise? It sounds like something is unlocking. I guess this wasn't just a panel, it was actually a door. And there's a screen inside of it. It's showing nine stars. What are we supposed to do with them? Well, why don't you try touching them? Press the star buttons in the correct order. Oh. What? Oh, okay. We need to... Uh, I forgot what the order we put in was. Um... Da, 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 no. Hmm. Ugh, I can't figure it out. You can do it. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Lever handle. Lever handle. I th I feel like it wanted me to like weigh the fruit before I <laughs> before I cut them. Um. Oh, maybe... No... Maybe... So, hmm... Dun 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 dun... Dun 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 dun... Dun 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 dun... Dun 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 dun... Bum 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 bum... Bird's eye view of the garden is kind of like a map. What's that on the right? It looks like a box. 
I think it's a treasure box. It's connected to the drawing above it, see? Hmm. There's five colored stars. This is... It looks like a tombstone. So the people buried here are Mr. Tufui and Mrs. Ego Eris? What? Well, that's what it says. Tufui Ego Eris. That's an epitaph. Something that they'll feel represents them or just a phrase they liked. What does it mean? Beats me. Any ideas, Luna? It looks like it's Latin, but I don't know what it means either. Hmm. Did you see this? It looks like there's a keyhole down here near the bottom. You're right. What are we gonna do about it? <laughs> I love Silent Hill. <laughs> right? Hmm, looks like there's just enough room for two on this bench. Well, why are you looking at me? Oh, no reason. Um... Hmm... Oh, wait. I completely just didn't even see this guy. The handle fits perfectly into the hole in the wall. Good, now try turning it. When I turned the handle, it got dark. It looks like the light up there went down. Maybe that light was a sort of surrogate sun. If that's the case, then it didn't get dark, it became nighttime. So the garden needs nighttime? I guess so. Or maybe there's some hidden meaning in switching from night to day. Let's go see if anything changed now that it's dark. If you want it to be afternoon again, all you have to do is pull on the handle, right? Okay, so... Now we can hopefully find out the things for the stars. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm, oh. Um, so we have red, green, um, red, green, hey look at that, are these stars? Maybe the idea was that when it night falls the stars come out. Hmm. Ah. Okay, so... Purple, blue, yellow, green, red. 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 Pur purple. Purple. Blue. Yellow. Green. Red. That's very badly scribbled on there, but <laughs> I know I know I'm gonna forget what what it was after they talk. The thing about bots and Twitter is you're when you're flagging a bot, instead of banning them because they just sp spilt like a hydra and make more is they just silence them. Whenever they comment to anything, it's automatically filtered to offensive slash off-topic filters that you have to click the button to even see. Yeah. So it doesn't really, it doesn't really get rid of them. It just, you know, hides them. The star showed up for up once night fell. I wonder if there's some significance to that. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> It's too dark. Maybe if me 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 me, it's too dark. I can't see a thing. Well, I can't see a single thingy in front of my face. Wow! Now I can see everything. <laughs> Turning the handle back made the room bright again. The light went up when you turned the night to come back up. What? So when the sun is out, it's gone from night to afternoon. Let's see. Problems the bots that DM, right? Because they get filtered, but you still get pinged that you have a message. Yeah. Okay, so purple, blue, yellow. Okay. 
purple, blue, yellow, uh, green, red. Yay! Okay, I'll mute them. I just wish they stopped following me, so the ones that follow me, yeah. Um, the thing is, you can go into, um, your followers and, like, um, either block them or just remove them from your follower list. <laughs> awesome! Solved it. Could work! Look at the screen. Okay, moon, star, sun. Huh? Wait, this is the safe password. Moon, star, sun. Moon, star, sun. Moon, star, sun. This is a safe, right? It looks like one at least. There is a safe that looked like this in the crew quarters too. Let's see if we can get it open. Moon, star, sun. Yes, it opened. You did it! Good job, Sigma. There's a lot of stuff in here. Let's have a look at it then. First off, this looks like a map. On the upper left, it says floor B. The map we found in the crew quarter said floor A. So A is the top floor and B is the bottom floor? I mean, I know we took the elevator down to get here, so... Right. Let's keep going. There are more things in the safe. This is... The key card. It has a moon on it. That means... Yeah, this is the moon card that the announcement was talking about. There's two of them in here, just like with the sun card. You should take one, Alice. Why? Well, you're a solo. Luna and I'll take one, and you take the other one. Right, thanks. So, what have we got next? It looks like a piece of paper. What is this? <laughs> Some kind of diagram. We got C, Rhizome 9, B, D, E, Nevada test site. Oh! Wait, what is Rhizome 9? We know what the Nevada test site is, but Rhizome 9? You know what's really awful? Twitch pushing VTubers and all the top streamers just putting the VTuber tag on, right? Like, uh, it's disgusting. And it's like, I, I, I know of the takeover, but I don't even, like, really see it on the front page. Like, let me, let, let me, like, have the game mute for a second as I look on the front page. The first people, or the first person that shows up is... Oh, usually, okay, there we go. I have to make it wider. So we've got Twitch Rivals, um, someone in the music category looking at TikToks, <laughs> uh, G4TV, then we have Takahata. It took a few people to get to one VTuber. <laughs> so it's like, what, what is, how do you even see the takeover? Oh, you have to scroll down all the way down and then you see Takahata. Porcelain made. Okay, so most of them in the takeover from what I've been seeing so far. Okay, yeah. But like you have to scroll down to like the middle of the page to see it. Yeah, before this even happened, people were using the VTuber tag. Yeah, especially like people that were like, um, this isn't allowed on Twitch, ma'am. Put on clothes. Why are you wearing floss? <laughs> Because I try to find some and it's just people with face cam right. And it was like, it was mostly like the the like hot tub people, the like hot tubs, pool, and beaches category people, or the ASMR people would be using that tag. Let's see, I get Toka's talking with Krimbo. Yee. <laughs> some kind of a diagram. It doesn't make any sense. I wonder what it is. Oh well, just forget about it for now. We can always come back to it later. There's two more things in here. What's this? It looks like a note. It says IG equals immu immunoglobulin. What's immunoglobulin? It's another word for an antibody. You mean like the thing in your body that fights off bacteria and viruses and stuff? Yes. So, what is this supposed to tell us? Honestly, I had no idea. Also gotta head out soon, gotta stream my raid and have an overlay set up for it. Okay! 
<laughs> have fun with the raid. Have fun. Have a fun stream. I would have been here sooner if Twitch told me. Yeah. <laughs> Twitch, Twitch is mean. The only thing left is this key. You're like 90% of what I watch on Twitch and it almost never pushes, <laughs> pushes me that you're online, right? <laughs> at least, at least I stream at like usual intervals of time. <laughs> the only thing left is the key. That must be the key to the exit. Yes, I think you're right. We should be able to use it to open the door. I think, I think I might, um... I know that there's like a schedule thing that you can set up on the Twitter page, and I know my next few weeks are gonna be like pretty consistent, so I might set that up and see if maybe that helps push out the notifications. I'm not sure. Oh, and uh, Rocket, the, the, the scan thing is broken. Uh, for some reason, Trigger Fire didn't connect to OBS today, so. Sadly, sadly, scan, Majima, uh, uh, Baka Mitai roll. A lot of that stuff is broken today. But throwing still works. This is a key from the safe. I can use it to open the door. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What are we waiting for? I played with the schedule thing. Yee? Okay, I'll have to do something else. In ah! Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Farewell! <laughs> oh man, is that the moon? Oh my gosh! I didn't think I would get this tie up! Ah! They're never gonna stop! <laughs> space. See a space dragon, that's what I am. Oh my gosh, it's finally over. <laughs> I am back. VTuber has gone on stream live, right? Local VTuber dragon gets launched into space. <laughs> it says lock on it, so it's probably the lock for the door. All right, let's open this door. Yes, let's. Please do. Here we go. Three, two, one. No sooner had we stepped out of the garden that I saw the three people I'd watched leave through the green door some time earlier. Whoa! I could use that command 16 times in a row. I have too many points. Oh no! <laughs> Just wa watches nervously. What are you guys doing here? I'm gonna be asking you the same thing. How do you get here? Sigma, hand me the map. Map? Oh, right. I dug the map out of my pocket and spread it out in front of us. You three came in through the blue door, right? Yeah. And which room did you go into? This fan-shaped one. It's called the Bee Garden. Bee Garden? It's this big dome with a bunch of plants in it. Look, you can go see it for yourself later, alright? What about you guys? Well, after we went through the green door, we ended up in the treatment center. Ooh! Hmm... And then we met up. Right here. So, what's the treatment center? It sounds a lot like the infirmary. You wanna have a look? What was that cartoon where the character got the opportunity to get payback all episode to another character? Uh... I feel like I would need more information. And right at the end of the episode, the character pushes the other in front of a bus or something. What? Um... I'm not... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. My... My my brain is only thinking of Mean Girls. <laughs> uh, that's me right now with my points. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> As if you have a... you have to... Or you have too many point in circulation, you'll need to raise prices to make sure for we span something more than three times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> I I definitely need to like rework my points a little bit. I need to I need to think it over. And have like one really big point redeem for something. <laughs> 
We can go back to any of the rooms we've already visited. So? Sure, let's have a look. Oh no, a bot. Why? <laughs> wow, it didn't even ask for if you wanted to buy more followers. Well, actually it did. It was just like, nice stream. Anyway, buy followers. <laughs> They're mixing it up a little bit, but not by much. <laughs> you can just set limit to how many times per stream. True, which I probably should do that for voice redeem stuff. The nice stream through me, not gonna lie, right? <laughs> it's like I didn't, I, it did two for a second and I was, I was just like, oh. <laughs> That bit didn't stand a chance, good riddance, right? <laughs> After a few moments of brisk walking, we found ourselves in the treatment center. It's like, I think I've gotten used to like, scanning first time chats like pretty quickly. I think it's like, if it's that big of a message, it's usually a bot. <laughs> but I don't know. What are those? They're why this is called a treatment center. Those pods can cure a number of illnesses and even repair certain injuries. Wow, that's nuts. How about you climb in one of them, Dio? Why? The metal one, specifically. I've seen someone get caught in the crossfire robot getting banned. Oh no, yeah. I think I've, I've, I think I've seen that um, for a few times too. Not even for a bot, just like someone getting caught in a crossfire for like a ban or a timeout. And the streamer is just like, did you mean to do that? Their message looked fine. <laughs> well, maybe it can fix whatever's wrong with your brain. Uh, hey, you want to start something, lady? Calm down now, son. You don't cool off a bit and I'll have to throw you in one of these pods here. Huh? Why? Weren't you paying attention? They have a cold sleep function. I remember there was there was this one like I don't know if it was a set of like three just people messing around or if it was like a set of three bots but like they just individually put in like one letter each uh like the first person put C the next person put U the last person put M and I think one of them had like a little like apostrophe on one of the letters or something and I was just like oh t t that huh <laughs> That one really threw me for a loop. <laughs> Let's see. I figured that would cool your head up. Wait, did you say cold sleep? That's where they freeze you, right? And you can stay that way for a really long time? According to some records we found in here, until about eight hours ago, there were three frozen people in these pods. It was funny because I caused it. I said something as soon as they were going to get banned and bumped it up. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, I'm 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 sure it was on accident, and they were able to fix it really really easily. <laughs> three people. Who? You mean three of us were? We don't know. All we found was what was in the logs for the pods. How long were they here? No idea. Part of the logs were erased. All that's left is when the cold sleep function turned off. It records them thawing out, getting up, and that's it. Then they could be anyone. <laughs> well, anyone but you. What? Why not Alice? Because you don't need a device like this to freeze Alice. Am I wrong? Eh? Huh? What are you talking about? You don't need to play dumb. The water in your body isn't normal water. It's something called Ice-9. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was on accident, but it was still funny. Yay. It freezes at 96.8 degrees. That means all you have to do to put yourself in cold sleep is drop your body temperature below 96.8. No fancy machine needed. Where on earth did you hear that? From Clover. Clover? When we were exploring the lounge during the first round. I see. <laughs> so funny oh man you fell for that one hook line and sinker didn't you clover was messing with you that is if she even said anything to you at all it was a lie a joke a joke no there's no way it was a joke i'm sure about it your body is made of ice nine 
Well, you're mistaken. It's a ridiculous misunderstanding. An urban legend. With seemingly no prompting, Alice launched into a lengthy explanation. <laughs> I don't know why that just seems silly to me. It went something like this. At some point in the past, someone found a frozen, mummified Egyptian queen. What was curious about this mummy, however, was that it remained frozen at room temperature. People began to refer to her as All Ice, which eventually simply became Alice. Rumors that her body was made of Ice 9 began to circulate, and her bizarre refusal to thaw out only compounded them. Or they confounded? say that the mummy finally thawed, and when it did, it began to move. You're hearing static? Ooh, give me a second. Okay. I think that fixed it. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> I want the ice nine in my body, but I live in a colder environment, right? If if I had an ice nine as my like bo water body cell things, I don't know. <laughs> if I had ice nine, I would probably be continuously frozen, except for like this this summer. This summer specifically has been like really hot. <laughs> I would have to go- I would have to go where Peach lives. <laughs> and even then I would probably... I would be frozen at nights probably. And ever since then I've had people say they thought I was her. I mean really. How could anyone believe something so ridiculous? That'd be so silly! The existence of this mysterious Alice and of this ice that doesn't melt are just urban legends. <laughs> but why would people make that mistake about you in particular? It can't just be because your name's Alice. There are tons of Alices. Is it because of your face and how you look? Well, it is true that I am both beautiful and elegant. Can I really be blamed if people think I'm an Egyptian queen? we has gotta go, okay, bye, have a good stream, Bailey. Hopefully the raid goes well. <laughs> need something like antifreeze so I'm more resistant to the cold. Mm -hmm. I need, I need something that makes me more resistant to heat. Cause like, cause gosh, it gets to like about 90 and I'm just like, end me. <laughs> Unless it's like a dry heat, apparently. Like apparently like 111 with dry heat is like, I'm fine. But like with, with slightly wet heat, not even like super wet heat, but just like slightly humid heat. I'm just like, I'm dying. The, the earth is an oven and I am, I am just a, a little crumb. <laughs> your theory on Alice being an ancient Egyptian may have some weight to it. <laughs> I don't think that's the only reason, though. Someone who made that mistake said something to me once. They claimed they'd seen me before. Of course, I immediately pressed the issue. Do you mean the mummy, Alice? I said. When? Where? Of course, they were at a loss. In fact, I began to feel a little sorry for them, so I told them something. If you're so convinced, then maybe I am actually Alice. But maybe I've lost my memory and can't remember who I am. And so on and so on. I'm still not sure why Clover would tell you something like that, though. Even if she was just messing with you, it seems a little out of left field. Just a wee bit. Do you really think she put that much thought into it? She was probably just screwing with him, and it was the first thing that came to mind. Maybe she wanted to see if she could get him to believe something completely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I could see her doing something like that. Well, I think that's enough idle gossip for now. The cold sleep business is interesting, but I don't think it's terribly useful. We should go see if the other team has returned to the warehouse yet. At Alice's request, we made our way out of the treatment center. Let's see, because I I live in a desert. I'm used to the heat and cold, but I'm better equipped to the cold. But it would be nice to be more cold resistant. Mm. Fair enough. Because <laughs> with me, it's like I prefer the cold. Cause you know, if it gets too cold, I can just I can just get something to to cover myself up. And if if it gets too hot, I'm just dead. Hello, <laughs> hello, Mal. How you doing? <laughs> it's been it's been so long since I've seen you drop by. <laughs> this it looks is like another warehouse. It looks like the same warehouse. Hey, look. <laughs> Latte. <laughs> Three more doors. They're all glowing white. You think? <laughs> 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 
that that's a latte malice. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully you're doing good today, Mal. These might be the next set of chromatic I doors. On it. Look. They've got the same boxes next to them as the other doors. Yeah, you can put on your own clothes, then you can take off without getting in trouble. Yee! <laughs> Cause like right now I have the AC kind of blasting, but like, you know, I don't wanna go down and turn it off. So I just have I just have a little not sweater, a cardigan. <laughs> And so if I get too warm while streaming, I could just take it off. But like, if I was too hot, then I'd be all sweaty in like places that shouldn't be sweaty. And it would just be gross. <laughs> oh, hello, it's been a lot minute I thought to drop by since I was awake. Hey! Oh, uh, does that mean, does that mean that your sleeping pills have been going well? <laughs> Doing pretty good myself? That's good to hear. <laughs> so the next set of doors are... Yeah, we're just we're just vibing and solving puzzles and and having having my my low power brain working on overdrive. <laughs> they haven't all been the same color before. Uh, we definitely need to tell the others about this. Right. Let's head back to floor A. I always think it's gonna like make the beep noise a little bit more. I am going to take a munch out of the little snack I have on the side. Hmm. And by snack, I mean the rest of my sandwich that I had before stream started. <laughs> or the rest of the sandwich that was left over. I forgot to leave my- no! Dark road, shush. I accidentally locked my phone so Xehanort wasn't fighting any Heartless right now. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. You finally returned. I was beginning to get anxious. Did something happen? Yes. It's Quark, you see. He- Oh no. What? What happened to Quark? Did he pass out? He collapsed. Oh no, he passed out. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. Clover is looking after him, but his condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. Temioji shoved Kay aside and leapt through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks, then ran off after him. They have been, but now I gotta fix my sleep schedule. Yeah. Well, hope hopefully you get to be able to do that. I know sleep schedule stuff is like really rough. Um, what, cause what I did, um, because there was one time when I like didn't really have anything to do, so I was just like waking up whenever and going to sleep whenever, and there was one day that I woke up and it was already dark and I was just like, I should probably stop doing this. <laughs> um, so I just kinda, what, what I, what I did is usually I just set an alarm for like noon. If I don't have anything to do that day, I just... You know, want to wake up around noon. <laughs> but I know everybody works differently, so it might not work for you, but it might. I don't know. <laughs> whichever, whichever thing works for you. You set your own rules. <laughs> Come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Temioji grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. It was Clover who stopped him. Hey, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? <laughs> then what am I supposed to do? I have to save him. Save? That seems a little extreme. Maybe he just has anemia or something. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. He's never just collapsed before. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. Oh yes, call an ambulance and have them just come into this facility that we can't escape from. That'll totally work. Bitch. This is serious. The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. Hmm. That could be important too. 
or like, well, not necessarily don't eat when you're trying to fix your schedule, but like maybe alter the times that you eat. I'm not sure, <laughs> but that could be, that could be some, some sound advice. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with them. <laughs> Oh, right. We we don't know that uh, that Luna has some doctor training. Well, we've got Luna. Luna. That's right. I remember Dio saying something. You have a medical license, don't you? Wait, really? Is that true, Luna? Um, well, yes, but... You have to take a look at him then. Please. Quark needs your help. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. So that thing can tell us what's wrong with Quark? Yes, I believe it can. I don't want to rush you, but the sooner the just let us know if you need anything. Of course. I pressed that too much too soon, I'm sorry. The whole process took only a few minutes. The machine scanned Quark's body, and within seconds, his results lit up on the screen. Words too complicated for me to understand scrawled, pa scrawled past it, and as we read them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and stood there for a moment, looking down at Quark before she spoke. Yeah, that's what I meant. Change the times you eat to better reflect your desired schedule. I'm trying to curb my midnight munching. Yeah. <laughs> well, I... I know what's wrong with him. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an infection. A viral infection. Like, it would probably be, probably be rough to, like, just, you know... I don't think cold turkey is the right term, but, like, just be, like, immediate changing, but, like, kind of scooting it over to, like, those right times. Maybe, like, still having, like, a midnight snack, but having it be, like, a small snack. I don't know. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Don't tell yes, me. He's been infected with a virus called Radical 6. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Have you heard of this virus? Radical 6, I mean. Uh, yeah. I told Alice and Tenmyoji about it. Fi and I heard about it from Luna. Dio and Luna were two of the first people to investigate the infirmary. They must have seen the newspaper clipping that Quark found. I've stayed behind after the AB game and they'd all split up and gone into different rooms. It seemed like one way or another, everyone had heard about Radical Six. No, he can't. How could he have gotten infected? That's not possible. Well, no. Something about the tone of his voice seemed strange. Why wasn't it possible? Had Temioji known about Radical Six before the rest of us? There must be something we can do! How can we cure him? Oh, well, Adam says there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. His name is Dio. He has blonde hair and wearing flambowery clothes. Oh no! <laughs> He's also a clone and a. <laughs> somewhere yeah, we looked around but we didn't see anything i don't trust a damn thing you say i'm asking luna i'm sorry but dio's telling the truth we didn't find anything damn it what about the other rooms sigma what about you did you find anything oh no <laughs> no nothing like medicine i mean it was just like a park lots of vegetation and stuff but no medicine what about you Kay? any medicine in your room we visited the laboratory and there were a number of chemicals and concoctions there some of which were medicine but nothing like what we're searching for i'm afraid oh god and he's he's going to oh god no <laughs> look just to be sure the three of you went into the treatment center right and you're sure it wasn't there no there was nothing even remotely like it you went there too, didn't you? The only thing in the treatment center are those treatment pods. Because I work at nights, I normally won't get the chance to eat until I'm ready for bed, so I had to train myself to be a 
opportunity sleeper. But I do not recommend, so it's super hard on your body. Yeah. I remember, um... Gosh, working, working like graveyard shifts, so rough. Like the plus side, you didn't have to deal with customers. You didn't have, like, you were just able to focus on the project, not have to worry about anybody coming and asking you like where the product that's right behind you is or anything. But like, uh, it was so rough. <laughs> but also like closing shifts, thus for like day stuff is rough too because like usually get out like 30 minutes before everything else closes <laughs> at best. And it's just like, uh. Treatment pods. That's it. If we put Quark in one of these pods. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Quark. Oh, thank God. You're awake. Get away from me. Oh, no. What? Is, is this? Quark, what are you? Oh, this isn't skippable now. <laughs> Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... I have to... Have to oh. what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to... escape. But... how? Like... this! Quark's hand moved like lightning. I really hope someone catches it. He'd grabbed hold of the scalpel and was driving it straight towards his heart. <laughs> Moida! Stop! Okay, Let cool, go! we stopped him. Let go! Let go of me! Why isn't this part skippable? This is like the same thing that happened. <laughs> Pretty tough for a kid. Hey guys, I, I can use a hand here. Uh, yeah, right. On it. Maybe different people are helping? Stop it! Let go of me, you jerks! I can't figure out what the difference between this scene and the last previous scene was. Tamioji, what the hell are you doing? Get over here! Hey kid, you're awake. Time to freeze you so you don't do anything stupid. It's too late. <laughs> Tamioji, can you even hear me? Oh, right. Man, who told you these words, Quark? I have to get out of this body! They can't lock away the soul! Once my body's gone, my soul can escape! Please! You have to let me go! Let me go! I'm trapped here! Let me die! I have to die! Kill me! Somebody! Anybody! Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> Jesus, this kid's lost it. Hey, somebody get the scalpel away from him. Good. Thanks, whoever that was. Quark barely even seemed to notice the loss of the scalpel. He continued to scream and writhe like he was possessed. No, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> what are we gonna do? We've got to calm him down somehow. Luna. Yes? Are there any tranquilizers in here? No. Well, I mean... What? They're Soparil Beta. Soparil? That's the anesthetic! The one that's in our bracelets! Good. Perfect. Hit him with some of that. What? He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. It's not gonna kill him. It's just an anesthetic. It won't hurt him, I promise. <laughs> but... Just hurry up and do it! Come on, Luna! Okay, let me just... Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right! No! Stop! Stop! Now we have an unconscious <laughs> child again. Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves, everything's normal. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're good for now. Yes. What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. 
Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah? How do you know? Huh? Oh, well, um... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Um, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article. <laughs> That the truth? Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses do the same thing. I was just making a guess. Hmm. So when Park tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six too? Yes, at least I think so. <laughs> so what kind of virus is Radical Six? Uh, what are you doing? I turned and followed Temioji's gaze. Oh no! There stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalpel. Apparently, she had been the one to take it away from Quark. The longer I looked at her, however, the more I wondered if she'd taken it to protect him or for some other, more sinister reason. She didn't seem stable. In fact, she looked far more like Quark had a moment ago and I was entirely comfortable with. Her eyes were flat and hollow. Her face was an emotionless mask. She was not well. Alice? Pebbuck says Luna worked on Radical Six and was just playing dumb. Oh no, maybe. <laughs> hey, are you feeling okay? We're all going to die. Huh? We're all dead already. Only terrorists would resort to biological warfare. But they will. Soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Alice, Alice not be wearing a shirt. <laughs> She's just like, this necklace will do. It covers the important bits. <laughs> hey, what the hell are you talking about? You don't understand? All of humanity is going to die. The virus will spread. Adults, children, everyone, everyone! There won't be anyone left! I... I'd rather die here! <laughs> Wait, Alice! And she's gone. We were all too stunned to even try to restrain her. We just stood there as she spun around and leapt through the door. Damn it. I shook myself and took off after her. But there were those few moments of hesitation had put too much distance and too many doors between us. Shit, which way did she go? Right? Left? I was still trying to decide when everyone else poured in from the infirmary. You lost her. Yeah. I don't know which way she went. Well, let's split up and look. Quickly. She can Right. Whoops. She couldn't have gone too far. Look. If you find her, it's probably best not to shout or anything. Just do your best not to provoke her. Understood? Gotcha. Ten Mioji. I think you should stay here with Quark. The rest of us can look for Alice. Sound good? Yeah. I stay here. Got it. All right, let's move, people. Get going. I mean, seeing a model kit I don't own makes me lose my crap. If a virus does that, what would it do for me? Oh, no. Uh, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> You'd probably be, like, pretty quick to do it. Maybe. At Fi's command, we scattered, filtering off into the different doors. As I ran, I thought, where should I look for Alice? Perhaps the lounge would be a good bet. Man, I should have made myself some tea during my break. Cause now I'm just, now I'm just craving Thai tea. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to wait until later today. Ooh, I didn't check the status of my package during my break. Oh well. No one's here, huh? Damn, where did she go? Complaining wasn't going to help anything. I needed to look somewhere else. I mean, I have a depression. I won't survive the virus, probably. <laughs> what if, what if it works in a way to where it just is like, you know what? I ain't gonna have this virus kill me. I'm gonna die on my own turn. <laughs> That's a bad way of thinking about that. Please forget that I said that. <laughs> 
That, that's the thing I refuse to harm myself under any circumstances, but I am thinking it will, it will throw me into a murderous rage. Yeah. Because, like, I wouldn't imagine, like, Quark would have those thoughts, so I think the virus would give you those thoughts. So I'm not sure. Aw, oh, man, my figure package is... is... I think that's... It hasn't even entered the states yet. Oh no, that's that's a little concerning. <laughs> Shoot, nothing in the treatment center either. We need to find her quick, but or she's gonna do something bad. <laughs> if we hadn't stopped Quark, I need to hurry. I headed to the garden next. She's gonna be in the crew quarters. <laughs> The virus. Ayo, she's already traumatized and depressed as it is. I'm a leave her alone, right? I would hope that would be the case. The virus is like, you know, we, you know, let's let's just let's make her asymptomatic. We'll we'll, we'll be here because we're already here, but we're not gonna give her any symptoms. That 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 that'd be too much. I'd only gone a few steps from the walkway through the grass when I stopped short. She passed out. There's not blood on. There's not blood on her boin boins. Oh, Alice. Here you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. I just huh? got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to carry her to the infirmary. Then she's uh, alive. Yeah. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. Oh, that's good. So she's just unconscious. Looks like it. What about the scalpel? Doesn't look like she has it. I figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Hmm. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. Uh, right. Alice was lighter than I had expected, and Fi and I managed to set off towards the infirmary at a brisk trot. I found that holding down the spacebar is actually more effective than the auto button. All right, please pay attention, everyone. Okay. You need to hear this. Uh -huh. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. Yeah? What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. Oh, she no. She has also been infected with Radical 6. Bom, 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 bom. On our way back, Phi had gone off to retrieve the rest of the participants. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh, no. No. What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. I, I feel like they should have done a different take for that one. She would have been devastated and she sounds like only mildly inconvenienced. Like, oh no! Oh no, what are, what's, what's gonna happen? <laughs> there's a special antiviral treatment. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? Immunoglobulin? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. Oh, wait. What about those pods in the treatment center? Like, can't we just stick them in those? Right. Clover, wait, no, come back. They're like the one person that I know in here, and they're my best friend, May maybe crush, I don't know, we're never gonna say it. No. <laughs> if it was the virus from the Isonium Finals of Ronage Initiative where it makes existing problems worse, they'll have more of an impact on me, but I think this will just make me slower, murderous rather than self-destructive. Yeah. I thought of that too, so I went and took a closer look at them. Well, I think... I don't know... I think it's less the virus itself makes you want to unalive. It's more of the virus causes um, the processes to slow down, and so everything's moving ridiculously fast, and so, like, it makes you so anxious that you want to unalive. Unfortunately, I I, I think that's what's going on. I'm not 100. percent Ah, that was crunchy. They can't cure it. Correct. 
They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but they can't kill the virus itself. The only way we can help Alice and Quark is if we can find some Accelivir. But the pods will keep them from getting any worse, right? Yes. Well, then what are we waiting for? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. As he spoke, Temioji moved over to Quark and lifted his small, unconscious body off the bed. Quark shifted slightly as Temioji moved him, and something fell out of his pocket with a soft clink. I bent down slowly and picked it up. Oh! He just has the cure on him. <laughs> what? Well, what is it? Hold on. There's a name on the label here. Axel... Axelav... Axelavir! You found it, Sigma! That's the one thing that can cure Radical Six! Uh, why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it earlier. Probably. Earlier when? We explored the laboratory. It was on the other side of the red door. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. He hid it? Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. I did not have the opportunity to ask as he collapsed immediately afterwards. Oh. It didn't feel appropriate to go digging around in his pockets for it after that. Fair to enough. be honest, it had also slipped my mind. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Who cares about the details? We have it. Hurry up and give it to him, Luna. Uh, hey, hold on a minute. What about Alice? Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. What? There's only enough here for one person. The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun. And the way it functions, it uses a whole bottle each time you pull the trigger. In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Right. While we all stood stunned, Phi moved. Stepping over to Quark, she quickly ran her hands through his clothes, then stepped back with a frown and a small shake of her head. Nothing. That one bottle was it. Do you think there might be some more back in the laboratory? Maybe? No. Unfortunately not. No. Oh god. Just enough medicine for one dose. Mm. Only one person can be saved. Who should we give it to? Alice or Quark? What the hell is this? There's no way we're only going to save one of them. What are we going to do? Do I have to spell it out? We're going to save them both. How? That's... Um... I needed to calm down. Think. There had to be some way to save both of them. It was there, I knew it. IG immunoglobulin. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. IG Replicator. Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of stuff. So it's like a copy machine. Yeah, probably copies IG, whatever that is. Any ideas? Who knows? Ice cream by the gallon? That's it! I've got it! The IG replicator in the laboratory. It's an immunoglobulin replication machine. Uh, what? I, I can have- I can copy immunoglobulin blah 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 blah. Antibodies. Luna just said Xalavir is made from antibodies. That means we can make more Xalavir. Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG replicator on it. Clover and I examined it thoroughly when we were in that room. Yeah, we never could figure out what it did, though. Exactly. My question is, how do you know about it, Sigma? I saw it. When I was in the laboratory. When was that? Um... Probably when you were looking for Alice, right? <laughs> but how does Sigma know? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> no. Dio was wrong. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Oh, on the stretch. Thank you. Oh. oh. Good stretch. Okay. 
<laughs> I hadn't gone to the laboratory when I was looking for Alice. I didn't think I'd ever been to the laboratory. So, how did I know about the IG replicator? If what he's saying is true, then we should be able to duplicate the Excelivir. Me! That would mean we could cure Alice and Quark. Me! Let's go have a look then. The laboratory, right? Yeah, no time to waste. <laughs> Wait, who's the original Care Sigma? Hmm. That is a question. <laughs> That I don't have the answer to personally. <laughs> because I I forgot that's what Kay looked like. <laughs> uh before before the, today's stream, of course. We all nodded. Wait. We can't leave them here all alone. Luna, do you think you could stay behind and look after them? Oh, of course. I'd be happy to. Alright then. Let's go! Yep, questions and plot points, yeah. <laughs> questions, plot points, flow charts, all that good stuff. I just found a fun fact, actually. Ooh, eh? What, what is the fun fact? As long as it's not a spoiler, but I doubt it's a spoiler. <laughs> There's just about an hour of this game spent staring at unskippable movement cutscenes. <laughs> yeah. So this is the lab, huh? My goodness. Just about an hour? Is that is that like not including parts where you would be able to skip or or is it actually including like possibly skippable parts but it's to play the whole thing oh jeez yes where's this ig replicator thing i was about to read tenmyoji's line <laughs> right here see so this can copy the excelivir i think so what are we waiting for? Calm down, all right? Don't rush me. Not actually sure some secondhand info about speedrunners. Ah, okay. So, if it's speedrunners, then they're probably able to, or they're probably skipping whatever kind of scenes that they can. So, oof, a whole hour just spent waiting for the moving cutscenes. Fun fact, it's been proven dog stream of their owners. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I carefully lowered the small vial of Excelivir into the slot on the side of the machine. Because they would have to dream of their experiences, so most of their life is with their owners. And it's just... <laughs> that's, that's cute information. That's a cute fact. <laughs> An empty vial already protruded from the other side. Presumably, that was where the duplicated Excelivir would go. Ready? When I push this button, it should... Skip it. Just press the damn thing. Okay, fine. Right. And... pressed. <laughs> did, did, did it work? Have a look. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma used remains as it was. It does not seem to have lost any of its contents. So, it worked? Would have been pretty bad if it hadn't. All right, let's get this thing back to the infirmary. I wonder what happens? Like, would you, in theory, be able to go through all the puzzle rooms? Um, like, with just, you, you have the code, you go into the puzzle room, you just go to the safe and put it in? I wonder if there's, like, different... If there's, like, dialogue specifically for that. <laughs> I reached down and pulled both vials from the machine, intending to slip them deftly into my pocket. Oh, what happened? Sorry, my hand slipped. You dropped one of them? Y yeah, just one, though. What in the hell? What if you'd broken it, you idiot? C 
come on. <laughs> if it broken, then we'd just make another copy. Before Tamioji could reply, Fai spoke. Uh, guys? I was surprised to hear her voice coming from near my feet. I looked down to see her staring intently at something beneath the table. You see? It did break. No, the vial's fine. See? She held it up in one hand, but didn't move her eyes. Then what the heck is going on down there? Take a look. <laughs> Guys, did you know that Sigma... <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Fun fact, no matter how often you use your phone, you'll rarely see your phone in dreams. Hmm. That is... That is true. Because usually you're, you're not thinking of, like, the actual phone object. You're thinking about what's happening on the phone. Hmm. Actually... When I think about it, I don't, I don't really dream with my computer. Heck, I don't even dream about the room I'm in right now. <laughs> but that's interesting. She slid back to the table quickly and silently. The rest of us bent down to look. There's bomb number two. A bomb? Oh, really? <laughs> Just, uh, guys, how long has Sigma not been wearing pants? <laughs> Why did it take for me to get down here to actually notice that he's not wearing pants? That makes two then. <laughs> Guess K was right after all. So there were more bombs. So it would seem. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? No, it was not. Yeah, I didn't see anything, and I looked real hard. Then somebody must have said it while we were looking for Alice. Who the hell would do that? I don't know, Dio. Would it be you, perhaps? We were all out looking for Alice. It could have been any one of us. No, not any of us. I was back in the infirmary. Quark was still out, so I was keeping an eye on him. So Fair we enough. Should consider you a suspect. Is that right? Yeah. Quark's off the list too. But Tenmyoji, you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infirmary, do you? What? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb. That's insane! Listen to yourself! There's no way in hell I'd have left Quark all by himself to go plant a goddamn bomb! Tamioji was still staring furiously at Kay when Clover spoke up. Hey, what's this thing? Is it another bomb? I turned in time to see her grab something from under the table. It looks like a... memory card. Interesting. What was it? Um, right under the bomb. What's it, it for? It was down on the floor under the table. Could it have been put here by the same person who set the bomb? There was nothing like it here when we examined this room. Oh, this is the this is the kind of memory card that was in the lab, right? Or the infirmary, rather. We're in the lab. Do you think they dropped it accidentally? Unless it was left here intentionally, yes. I imagine so. What do you think's on it? Well, let's take a look. Could I see it for a minute? Yeah, I guess so. I plucked the card out of her hand and looked around the room. Nothing. <laughs> hey, what's this thing smacks Sigma upside the head? <laughs> Shoot. No dice. We'll need to plug it into something that can read memory cards, but I don't see anything here. So what do we do? Come on, if I, if I knew I'd be doing it. Or if I knew, I'd be Ten doing it. minutes that remain kind of until, until Ambidex game polling closes. Oh, I forgot that they were open. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. I don't even remember. I don't remember them being opened. <laughs> uh, guys. I think maybe we should get back to the top floor. Yeah, you're right. We've got what we came here for. Um, what should we do about the, uh, bomb? Not much we can do except leave it here. Alice said it'd be dangerous to touch them. True, but... Drop it. We can talk about the bombs later. Right now we need to take care of Alice and Quark. Right. So we'll go back to the infirmary, give them the Exalivir, then head to the floor A warehouse. Right. It's like so much has happened, I completely forgot. 
It might take a little while, but they should recover. Yeah. Her voice was quiet as she backed away from Alice and Quark. In her hand was the injection gun. She carefully removed the empty vial and placed it gently in the cabinet with the other one. Wouldn't it have made sense to make, like, multiple Excelivirs? That way if someone else gets infected, they're not, like, just out of luck because he used the only two Excelivirs. <laughs> oh well. While we were in the laboratory, Luna had moved Quark to a crude cot. They both looked peaceful as they slept. The madness I'd seen on their faces before was completely gone. Are they really going to be alright? Yes. The analysis I did on the files confirmed that the duplicate was real Excelivir. The original was genuine too, of course. Now that they've been treated... It's only a matter of time before the virus is eliminated. I believe so, yes. Oh man, what a relief. I was really worried. Clover grinned. Agreed. I gave her a reassuring pat on the back. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Okay, we really need to get to those Ambidex gates. <laughs> All right, everybody. We can be relieved later. Right now, we need to get to the AB rooms and fast. Damn. Don't even have time to catch our breath. Come on, let's go. The floor A warehouse is waiting. We're not even gonna have that much time to, like, discuss. Oh, actually, we're... We're actually not that far away. I thought we were farther. <laughs> So, why are we standing around, huh? Where's Tamioji? Oh, he stayed back in the infirmary. That makes sense. W what? Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he wasn't doing anything. So I asked him if he was coming with us, and this is what I got. <sighs> I'm still worried about Quark and Alice. I think I'll stick around and make sure they're okay. Yeah. I see. That means that Fi's only opponent will be Dio. One on one, huh? Ugh. That's cool. Nothing to worry about. I mm. plan to choose ally. You know why? Because I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you chose ally and I betrayed you, your BP would drop below zero and... Well, we know what happens then. I want to win, but I'm not that desperate. You see what I'm saying, right? Tenmyoji and Dio are a pair. Tenmyoji only had one BP left. I want to unalive people, but you know, if I just do it outright, people are going to be mad at me. <laughs> That's probably his thought process. Since Dio said he's going to pick an ally, Fi can't really pick anything else. If she does, Tenmyoji will... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. And I are going to be going one on one too, right? Since Quark's still sleeping. That is correct. How many BP do you guys have? I've got six. As do I. Uh, this will be a tough one then. If one of them can get the other to ally and then betray that person, the betrayer will have nine points. Mm. Look, Kay. I know you don't really have any reason to trust me, but... I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yes? Y yeah I agree. If we were to both betray, then we would gain no points. We would lose nothing either, but that's hardly relevant. If both of us cooperate, then we will both gain two points, which is much more beneficial. Right. Okay, good. You're really gonna do it, right? Yes. Promise? Promise. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Shit, this is bad. We need to move now. Indeed. Shall we? D.O.K., Fi, and Clover all took off immediately, heading into different A.B. rooms. Counting from left from the left, Dio went to the room three, K went into D to room four, and Fi and Clover went into rooms five and six, respectively. They could have just... But okay. <laughs> From le that left, Luna and myself. What do you think about taking the one on the far left? Sounds good. With that settled, we headed into the AB rooms, number one. I feel 
like there probably was an easier way for it to like say the order of who went in what door, but eh, it's okay. Thirty seconds remain until Amadex game polling closes. Um, it's probably a little late to say this, but you know Alice is still in the infirmary. So... Yeah. You're saying we should pick Ally, right? Since Alice is going to default to that anyway. Yes. I know. It's not really fair to betray somebody who isn't voting. Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the nonary game didn't seem so scary. Ten seconds remain until Amadex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. We pick ally. Round two of the Amadex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Amadex gates now opening. Okay, let's see how many people betrayed each other. Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. Alright, let's go have a look at the results. Okay. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. We got it. Betray, betray. Betray, betray. Ally. Betray! Oh no, I'm dead! <laughs> Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. What? It wasn't possible. I blinked, rubbed my eyes, and looked again. No. That's... That's not possible. How can Alice's vote be betray? It was a question that I would never know the answer to. And then I heckin' died. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrists, barely even noticeable. I could feel... and, and I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First would be the anesthetic soporil. I blinked and my vision started to blur. When I started, when I tried to think, it felt like my mind was had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble and then I gave out entirely as I crumpled to the floor. Sigma, Sigma, hang on! Oh no, Sigma, get up! Sigma, Sigma. No. This uh, this sounds like a dead end. <laughs> Why? <laughs> My eyelids felt like they were made of lead, but I forced them open. Everything was going blurry, but I'd noticed that the door of the second AB room was open. No one had gone into that room. I'd watched them all, and yet there she stood, an apparition that couldn't possibly be real. Al us. The world was gradually going black and my mouth refused to form words, but my head echoed with questions. How? Why? What was she doing there? Had she run in the last moment after Luna and I entered our room? But even if she had, why choose Betray? Then the darkness closed over my mind as well and my questions were gone forever. Whoops, I didn't... I, I didn't anticipate that. <laughs> okay. Can we turn? Uh, we, I, I, I guess we gotta betray. Mm 
<laughs> oh, wait, you can save yourself. Not in this one. I died way too fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead as heck. I'm as dead as a bug. Betray. Now, now, now Luna's gonna be mad at me. It's like, why? Why did you pick Betray, Sigma? I don't think I'll ever believe you anymore. Luna and I stepped into the AB room. Why? What happened to... It's not fair to betray someone who isn't voting. I thought... There was nothing I could think of to say. Even I didn't really understand why I picked Betray instead. It had almost felt... unconscious, like some other part of my mind was making the decision. Perhaps I'd been in possessed by some kind of evil spirit that had moved my finger to the Betray button against my will. <laughs> uh, uh, right, well, we should go see the results. Really? We already know what they are. It's just simple math. The look in her eyes was more painful than any punch I'd ever taken. I turned away and almost ran towards the projector, trying to get away from those eyes. Yo, Siggy! Results from please Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results! <laughs> betray, betray! Betray, betray! 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 <laughs> Points have been a please check. What? It wasn't possible. I blinked, rubbed my eyes, and looked again. No. How can Alice's vote be betray? That's not possible. Uh, Alice. As she was standing inside the second room, from the left, the room that should have been empty. Why? My mind was still reeling. Where had she come from? As I was trying to form a sentence, she began to move towards us. From around me, I heard a chorus of muted gasps. It seemed that we were united in our surprise and confusion. Alice drew to a stop in front of me and glanced up at the display. Thought you'd get an easy couple points, huh? Not so easy when you have to look your victim in the eye, is it, coward? You, you were the one who had aligned me in the other timeline! Me, a coward? You've got some balls saying that to me after you picked Betray. Why are you even here? You gave me the antivirus, didn't you? Tenmyoji told me. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, honestly. But you should still be under the effects of the anesthetic. Yes, well, I still am. A bit. I have a throbbing headache, and I can barely stand. It's horrible. I'm more resistant to anesthetics than most people, a result of my training. I have a feeling Zero Senior knew that. They gave me way more than the standard dose of that gas when they kidnapped me. In any event, a few minutes ago, I woke up in the infirmary. Tenmyoji explained what was going on, and I got here as fast as I could. So you showed up right after we'd gone into the AB rooms? Yes. Right in the nick of time, too. About 10 seconds before the deadline, as I recall. You did that just so you could betray us? Right. What? Don't I get to do that? I mean, it turned out to be the right thing to do, didn't it? No! No, this is the all this is the alternate timeline. You unalived me, ma'am. <laughs> Don't be all high and mighty. You two chose betray. I'm trying to kill the guy that saved you for shameless, indecent exposure, right? If I'd stayed back there, I'd have lost two points. So you're saying yeah. it was self-defense? But you wouldn't what? have died! You wouldn't have died! <laughs> uh, yes. You're full of shit. Self-defense, my butt. Whoops. You chose Betray because you wanted out. You had six BP. If I had picked Ally, you would have had nine and I would have been dead. That's what you were trying to do, right? Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Let me, uh. Let me, let me untime out.
this this uh, this a bit malice. Sorry about that. <laughs> you should be untimed out now. That's what you were trying to do, right? So what if I was? Are you serious? You would have killed me. Look, I only have one BP. You were this close to murdering me. In another timeline, you did. <laughs> Just admit it. You were planning to kill me so you could escape. Don't be stupid. I knew you'd choose betray. I didn't initially. That's okay, I forgot. I can't say that. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, there's some, there's some bad words, but like other ones that where it's just like, just, just in case someone co comes in here and, and is mean. <laughs> You're trying to get an IMVP so you could run to your boss that may or may not be dead, right? There was. Tell me the truth. That is the truth. Why am I the only one getting the third degree here? Look at those results. Two other people just tried to kill someone. Phi and Dio. Yes. If Dio had chosen ally, Phi would have killed Tenmyoji. And if she'd chosen ally, Dio would have killed her. Because they knew that neither of them were going to choose be, ally. But it looks like Clover and Kay tried to trick one another. Not that it seems to have worked. If either one had chosen ally, the other one would have 9 BP right now. I turned to look at the results again. Before, I'd only been looking at my own. I hadn't realized that there was only one word across all the roster. Betray. Not even simple, Miss Titty Spree. <laughs> Whatever trust we'd managed to build had fallen apart. Everyone was suspicious of everyone else. Yeah, Alice, Alice is kind of... Al Alice is that word <laughs> that, that you called a... Had it been the bombs? Or had it been something else? Whatever the reason, if it kept up, we'd never manage to escape. We'd been trapped in a cycle of zero-point rounds for the rest of our lives. Something had to be done. I closed my eyes and took a deep breath. All right, guys, pay attention. You've probably already all figured this out, but we can't keep going like this. If we don't start being a little more trusting, we're never gonna get out of here. We need to work together. I might as well have been talking to a wall. My apologies, Sigma, but I need to think on something for a bit. I would appreciate being left alone. Okay. I'll be leaving too. Things are getting a little too intense here for my delicate constitution. Sorry. Dio. Well, in that case. At at two feet five. Yeah. Fo Sorry. Fum. Without another word, she turned and left the warehouse. Dio and Quay. Quay. Dio and Kay quickly followed suit. See. Here's your answer. In the end, everyone's just thinking about themselves. So I would appreciate it if you could not treat me like I'm the only villain here. Come on, Clover. Let's go. Oh, hold but, on! I'm coming! But you did cause me to die in the other timeline, so... <laughs> Were you feeling okay? I was really worried, you know? I watched them walk away, Clover practically jumping with delight to have Alice back. Before long, they reached the yellow door and disappeared beyond it. Everyone's gone. We're in the final run, they're getting desperate in the bomb scare. It would add more tension, yeah. You aren't going to leave too? No. Are you sure? I chose Betray. I know, but I still believe in you, Sigma. I think your hand must have just slipped or something, right? My chest hurt, and when I blinked, I felt something hot and wet prick the corners of my eyes. Luna, I... I bit my lip. Before I could think of anything to say, the metallic rumble of the doors closing echoed throughout the warehouse. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round.
Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As many times as we want, huh? Yes, as long as we have the star keys. That means we can keep playing the AB game over and over too. Um, Sigma? Could you show me your bracelet? Do you just want to hold my hand, Luna? <laughs> Do you Why? remember what Zero Junior said? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. A pair of solo assignments hop around a bit too. <laughs> that's a different that's a different recording. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Um, let's see here. I'm a cyan pear. What about you? I'm a magenta pear. Oh no, we can't go together. I wonder what the others are. It could be anything, I suppose. We won't know until we have a look. Hmm. We've got about... 80 minutes until the next set of chromatic doors open. So, what do we do now? Everyone else has gone off on their own. Yeah. Physically and emotionally. I really don't like how this is going. It won't matter how many times we repeat the EAB game if nobody trusts anybody else. We'll never be able to get out of here. Maybe it would help if we all had a common goal. Something to unite our hearts and minds. Yeah, but we've already got something like that. We all want to get out of here. It seems like a pretty clear goal to me, but everybody chose Betray. Including me. Well, what if we have an enemy? An enemy? Yes. Like the person who set the bombs, for instance. After coming back from the lab, I told her about the bomb while she gave Alice and Quark the Excalivir. Hmm. Yeah, that might work. If we can figure out which one of us planted those bombs, then everyone else would work together against them. Right. But how do we figure out who it is? Do you have any clues? I'm pretty sure it's Dio. Um. Hmm. Clues, huh? That's right! The memory card! I pulled it out of my pocket and held it out towards her. What's this? It's my PlayStation 2 memory card. It has all of my all of my Spyro save data on it. <laughs> Don't ask me why I have a PS1 game saved onto a PS2 memory card. Don't worry about it. I also have Kingdom Hearts. A save data. So if you have Kingdom Hearts, uh, you can play on my save if you really want to. <laughs> I told you, a memory card. It was under the bomb we found in the lab. I think whoever set the bomb dropped really? it. Yeah. I don't know what's on it, though. We couldn't find any kind of memory card reader. Well, I guess we can't really use it, then. Oh, wait a second. Wait, do you maybe 10 Kane? Do you can't be trusted together? Oh, that's true. You know what? I might have seen something. Huh? Yes, I remember. The infirmary. I saw it when I was searching the infirmary with Theo and Quark. There was a memory card just like that one. Then... Yes! I think we can see what's on it. The computer there should be able to read it. She had a different kind of smile. She had like a kitty mouth smile. Luna and, and I explored the infirmary, nearly running into Alice, Clover, and Temioji. Quark was there as well, of course, but he was just as we'd left him, asleep on the bed. What are you doing here? I opened my mouth to retort, then thought better of it. If I really wanted people to start trusting each other, well, real change starts at home. As quickly as I could, I explained the second bomb in the memory card, and how we'd come into the infirmary in hopes that we could discover the contents of the ladder. Okay. Then stick it in already! Clover, Clover, please. You are barely an adult. You are 19. You just became of age. Please calm down. <laughs> Stop it with the euphemisms. Go ahead. Right. Just as Luna had said, there was a s small slot under the screen, exactly the right size to fit a memory card. 
Within moments, the screen was filled with what appeared to be random letters. What is this? Is it a word search? Uh, there's T on. Uh, there's, uh, uh there's, a, there's one. <laughs> what is this? Six rows, 22 letters each. It looks like the odd rows use one set of letters and the even rows use another set. Oh, that's true. Oh, is this a cipher? Is this a cipher code? In other words, the first two rows just repeat. Yeah. Is this some kind of code or something? It doesn't look random to me. I think there might be a pattern. I just don't know what it is. Um. Let me see. What? Do, let me let me clear this one. We don't need it. Um. Yeah. So. I don't know if this is correct, but um, if this is a cipher, wait. Are there no L's on the first row? Oh, so maybe we're going the other way. Maybe? So in theory, me. Um, I'm gonna look at the second row and compare it to the one above it. So it might be J, N, uh, hmm. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. No, 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 no. Don't clear that. Don't clear that. I need all of that information. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I will, I will just keep going until it says something specific. Was there anything else on there? No, it doesn't look like it. So all we get is this gibberish. Hey, Alice, you haven't said anything for a while. What's up? Does any of this look familiar to you, Clover? Um, what do you mean? Have you seen something like this before? Maybe during your training? <laughs> training? Uh, this is... So you do recognize it. All right, knock it off, you two. How about you share it with the rest of the class? <laughs> Alice, you're the special intelligence officer. You solved this smart. No pants. <laughs> Alice sighed and stretched her neck from side to side. I believe this is an encoded message from a terrorist organization. What? They call themselves the Myrmidons. Myrmidons? For some reason I felt like I'd heard that name before. What are the Myrmidons? Put simply, they're a bunch of thugs who are trying to destroy or dismantle most of human civilization. So this thing we're looking at, you think it's theirs? Well, they have a number of different codes, but I do think this is one of them. Then the bomb? It was said by one of the Myrmidons, wasn't it? Yes. Well, I can't say for sure, of course, but it seems likely. Hmm. Um. Damn, I've got a ton of questions for you. But let me start with this one. What the heck does this say? I don't know. What? How am I supposed to decode it? I don't have the key. Without a key, it would take literally hundreds of years to decode. Well, isn't this the... Isn't this technically the key? This, this like, top one? I'm not sure... Hmm... I'm not sure how to decipher it, though. Uh. Cause... I feel like we need oh. part of this. But I don't know for sure. What about you, Clover? Well, if Alice doesn't know how, I sure don't. I see. <laughs> Uh, not much we can do then. We can come back to the code stuff later. I've got another question. Alice, Clover, who the hell are you? Why do you know about this code? That's... You told me your job was to eliminate enemies of the state or something like that. Just what the hell kind of a job is that? I think it's time you told us what you do. Sorry, but I can't. Why not? Because you might be one of them. You might be the person who set the bomb. That's idiotic. Of course I'm not. Really? And where's your proof? For all I know, you're my enemy. I can't tell you anything. I'm not your enemy. I'm your ally. I'm your friend. I just want all of us to get out of here. Just please tell us. Please. 
We need to find out who did this so we can all escape. But we have too little information. We need your help. Fine. If you won't tell us about yourself, then just tell us about the Myrmidons. What else do you know about them? I'm sorry. Before I could blink, she leapt out and ran out of the room. Hey, wait, Alice! I took off after her. How long are you going to keep following me? Until you tell me what you know. Then why don't you just ask Clover? Clover? You already know she works with me. Well, yeah. Then why don't you... I wanted to hear it from you. Why? That's a good question. Remember the, the crew quarters? Or this garden? We got paired up for two separate rounds. That means I've spent more time with you than anybody else here. Maybe that's it. I guess I'm just curious about you. What are you talking about? Oh no, I'm flustering her. <laughs> she spun around to hide it, but I caught a blush of red on her cheeks. We walked down the path to where it ended next to the pond. I stayed silent. Alice sat down on the bench. We gazed at the smooth surface of the pond for several long minutes before she began to speak. You don't hate me? What? Why? I tried to kill you. You mean in the AB game? Yes. I was so scared. Who wouldn't be? Kidnapped and locked up, forced to play some sort of bizarre game. And then we found that bomb. I know I probably sounded calm, but as soon as we found that thing, all I wanted to do was run away from it as fast as I could. Things just went downhill from there. What do you mean? I remember hearing that Quark had collapsed and running to the infirmary with everyone else. When I got there, I realized I couldn't understand what anyone was saying. And everything looked... I don't know how to describe it. It was like watching a video on Fast Forward, only it was real. Then I started to feel like... It's hard to explain. I guess you could say I didn't feel like I was myself, and it only got worse. That was probably the Radical Six. Yes, I think so. I don't remember much after that. But when I woke up in the infirmary, suddenly all that fear was back. I just realized I didn't I didn't make a Twitter post that I was going alive, was I? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so I All I could think about was getting out of this place as fast as I could. It never even crossed my mind that it could kill you. God help me, it, even if it had, I don't think I would have cared. See? I'm horrible. You hate me, don't you? Just do it! What? Do what? Kill me! Get it over with! What the hell, Alice? I'm not going to kill you. I don't even hate you. You're lying! I could've killed you. I would have killed you. Come on, calm down. No one's killing anyone. A single tear rolled down Alice's cheek. Then another, and another, leaving shining lines across her face. When I reached out, I saw her tense, just slightly. Slowly, I brushed my thumb across her cheek and off, taking her tears with it. Why are you doing this? You know, you kind of remind me of my father. <laughs> That's who you were after, right? The people who killed your dad? Yes. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. Did they have anything to do with the Memrodons? Will you promise not to tell Clover that I cried? <laughs> Come on! Keep, keep your mouth shut. I'll tell you what you want to know about myself and about the Myrmidons. Deal? Okay. Sure. My lips are sealed. Really? Uh, what crying? I don't remember any crying. Good. All right then. Alice took a deep breath and began. I can't believe that I forgot to to put out my little post of like, hey, I'm going live in a little bit. <laughs> my father is Egyptian, but my mother is French. They met while my mother was in Egypt on vacation and married shortly thereafter. When I was three, we all moved to the US. My father was a scientist and his field was cloning. He was recruited by an American lab, which was why we moved. Both my parents 
had used English around me from the time I was born, so I didn't have any problems adapting to life in the United States. By my ninth birthday, we'd been there for six years. That's when that, that was when it happened. In the middle of the day, my mother showed up at school. Her eyes were red and puffy, but she didn't say anything to me on the drive home. When we arrived, there were several policemen there to meet us. My father had been in a very punk had been a very punctual man, and when dinner time came and went with no sign of him, even I began to realize something terrible had happened. It wasn't until several years later that I finally learned the truth. My father's lab had been attacked by terrorists, and he had been kidnapped. For the rest of my childhood, my mother raised me by herself. I didn't realize it then, but it must have been incredibly difficult for her as a single mother alone in a country where any relatives were a transatlantic flight away. She did her best not to let me see it, but every so often, when she thought she was alone, the mask would fall away and every line of her face I could see exhaustion and loneliness. As much as I missed my father, it was those moments that made me wish more than anything that he'd never been taken. Fortunately, I was an excellent student and did especially well in math. I, learned a full, I earned a full, full ride scholarship straight out of high school and spent the next several years studying. After graduation, I took a job with the Department of Defense, hoping that they might have the resources to help me look for my father. I was immediately assigned to the Special Office of Internal Security. Their purpose is to investigate and sometimes deal with terrorist organizations and other serious threats to the state. I could tell my mother wasn't happy with my decision, but she chose to remain silent about it. Eventually, I learned that the terrorist organization that had taken my father was none other than the Myrmidons, although at the time that name didn't mean anything to me. They, weren't, they were suspected of human cloning. Specifically, it was thought that they had been using cloning techniques to copy the most useful members and expand their ranks. The Myrmidons apparently believed that they could use cloning to create a new race of humans. Now, at last, I knew the reason for my father's abduction. The commander of the Myrmidons is a man named Left. We know his name and his gender, but not his appearance or his age. The Myrmidons are closely associated with a cult known as Free the Soul. We believe that Free the Soul provides their funding, but trying to pin any kind of misdeeds on the cult's leader, a man called Brother, is like trying to nail Jello to a wall. Brother is supposed to be fairly advanced in years, and rumors said that he's so old that he can't even get out of bed. Unfortunately, his mind seems to be as sharp as ever. At that point, I hit a wall. I knew the Myrmidons had been behind my father's kidnapping, but that was all I could learn about them. Then one day I got a tip from some of them that were hiding in the building in the Nevada desert. I headed out immediately. On the way there, my car had some engine trouble and stalled out. I was trying to decide what to do when an SUV appeared out of nowhere. I'll give you one guess as to who was behind the steering wheel. Clover. That was the first time we met. There were four other people in the car with her, and when I asked them what it was they were doing, I got what, just about the last answer I expected. They told me that they had been locked up inside the very building I had been on my way to investigate, and that they were currently in the pursuit of the people who had kidnapped them in the first place. My, pri my priorities shifted very quickly. After a short discussion, I convinced them to allow me to come along. My hope was to find the people they were chasing, who I was certain were Myrmidons. In the end, however, they were unable to track them down. In fact, I still don't know where they might have gone. Eventually, I took Clover and her companions to SOAS headquarters. We decided that involving the police would only complicate things. After some questioning, I was determined that the people who, who had investigated their particular event were non, not connected to the Myrmidons. We did, however, discover that the mysterious disappearance and subsequent reappearance of several children nine years prior was connected to Free the Soul. There was also a sixth person in the SUV, although they weren't riding in it per se. A middle-aged man, who I'll just call H for now, had been bound and placed in the trunk. According to the other four, he had been behind the disappearance of the children nine years earlier. We also learned that his pharma pharmaceutical company, a major player for the world stage, was effectively controlled by Free the Soul. More specifically, I suppose, H was a member of Free the Soul, and very committed to their case. So why had he kidnapped all those children? Apparently it had been part of the experiment designed to test the ability of certain people to access what's called the morphogenic field. I don't imagine you've ever heard of it before, so I'll try and give you a quick rundown. 
Simply put, these people can access a sort of field that allows their consciousness to resonate with the consciousness of certain other people. To be honest, it might be simpler to just call it telepathy? The Soas had heard of this particular ability before and had actually used it as a number of investigations, so I wasn't surprised to learn of its existence. I was shocked, however, to learn that these experiments had been carried out by a member of Free the Soul. If it that had been the case, then Brother must have known about it. The thought of him discovering a way to control and harness that power was terrifying. It wasn't too long after the incident in Nevada that another tip about the Myrmidons crossed my desk. This time, it claimed that the Myrmidons intended to launch a large-scale biological terrorist attack. My bosses decided that we needed more agents to deal with the threat that magnitude, and Clover was recruited. Because she'd been the test subject in H's experiment, we knew that she had the ability to access morphogenic field, and we wanted to put that ability to use. After several months of training, she was sent on her first mission. She would be tasked with the infiltration and investigation of the Myrmidon cloning lab. I was assigned to be her commanding officer. I hoped that our investigation might also give me a lead on my father's whereabouts. At last, I had a chance to find out what had happened to him. I wouldn't let that chance pass me by. Perhaps that was what kept me from noticing the truth. The whole operation was a trap. The lab was fake and Clover was captured almost immediately. I got there as fast as I could, but when I arrived, the building was only a temp empty shell. All of the conspirators, who had pretended to be researchers and the like, had already fled. I searched frantically for Clover until at last, in a basement room, I found her. She had been tied to a chair, but on the floor next to her was another body. It was my father. He looked as if he'd been just dumped there, and when I got to him, his body was already cold. He was covered in dark, ugly bruises. It wasn't until later that I learned he had died from ruptured organs and internal bleeding. They had beaten him to death. As soon as Clover had been captured, a mere Madonna in a mask had come to visit her. He said that unless she wanted to end up like my father, she would leave them alone and tell her masters at Soy Solis to do likewise. In the retrospect, they must have known who I was and who my father was. That was why they killed him. Perhaps they had thought that they were sending a message to me. Or that, once he was gone, I'd lose my reason for chasing them. They were very, very wrong. I took Clover with me and left. I tried to console myself with the fact that I had, at least, been able to save her. Sometime later, I received a call from the coroner. He told me that there was something I needed to see. There was a morgue- in the, there in the morgue was my father, cold and pale on a steel table. I could barely stand to look at him, but the coroner insisted. On his arm were two rows of numbers, comprised of eights and nines. It took me a moment to recognize my father's handwriting. He had carved them into his own skin. On his chest was another message, but they were letters this time, not numbers. Not many, just enough to make a short sentence. I love you, Alice. I broke down crying right there in the morgue. They were the first tears I'd shed since the operation had started, and there was no stopping them. There would be no forgiveness, not for the monsters who'd put my father through this. They'd destroyed my family. I would make them pay even if I had to die to do it. That night I made a promise to myself. I would avenge my father. It didn't take long to figure out that the numbers he'd written were latitude and longitude. They pointed to a chemical factory that had been disguised as an abandoned building. Further investigation revealed that that was the mother load we had been looking for, the headquarters of the Myrmidons. I think my father must have known how things would turn out. Knowing he was going to die, he'd written the directions to our enemy's fortress on his own body. He'd sacrificed too much for me to waste this opportunity with recklessness. This time, our operation would succeed. This time, I wouldn't let my excitement put Clover or any other agents in danger. So we took our time, we gathered information, and we did our research, and we planned. Finally, we were ready. December 25th, 2028 was going to be the day we finally set foot inside the Myrmidon stronghold. But then, on the 22nd, only three days before the operation was scheduled to begin, a man in a gas mask appeared. There's a chance Alice's father is also Kay's father, which also <laughs> means Sigma is her brother too. Maybe? I don't know. Because... Because the cloning thing is similar. 
But I feel like that's the only thing that like really connects Kay's father and Al and Alice's father. Because mm -hmm. Cause he could have Kay could have been born into that lab and the Myrmidons possibly could have just like kidnapped him there. Hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I might have to think about that. <laughs> hey, Alice actually owns clothes. <laughs> yeah, she was just, you know, wearing this outfit that day. So you inhaled that gas, passed out, and woke up here in the AB room? Yes. Well, there it is. Everything that's happened with the Myrmidons and me. I left a few of the details out, of course, but you get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. She gave me a sad sort of smile and stood up. We should go back. Not yet. Your story explained a lot, but there's still one big question. Which is? Who here is a Myrmidon? One of us planted the bombs. And based off the code we found, it's pretty clear that person is a Myrmidon. Yes. Right? And I agree that we need to figure out who they what are. What do you propose we do? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Do you have any clues? Clues? Hmm. Well, if I could decrypt that code, it might tell us something, but... How can we do that? I told you, we need a key. Without that, it's pointless. I have two keys. A What's key a key? is a key. It allows you to sort of unlock a code. Myrmidons usually use this huge string of numbers as a key. Wait. A long string of numbers? Could that be... Come on, ask, unmask Kay. I want to hear the explanation, right? Oh. I'm glad I didn't have to remember that uh, string of numbers. 7815361098830942419905510551. What the hell? <laughs> I was almost as surprised as she was. The numbers had just kind of appeared in my mind, and I was just saying them before I knew what I was doing. Alice looked at me incredulously, and, stare, and I stared back. Where did... wait, can you say that again? Uh... 7815361098838094249905510551 That's 198,449,351 to the third power. Huh? What? <laughs> that number you just told me. Prime factor decomposition on that number gets you 198,449,351 to the third power. What? You're talking about reducing an integer to the series of prime numbers that you are multiplying together to get it, right? Like, if you had 30, then you'd get like 2 times 3 times 5, right? Exactly. You probably learned that in junior high, right? So you're saying that... One nine eight four four nine three five one is a prime, and if you multiply it by itself three times, you get seven eight one five three six one zero nine eight eight three eight zero nine four two four one nine nine zero five five one. Yes. Don't tell me you just did that all in your head. I did do all of that in my head. Aren't you proud of me, Sigma? Simple mental arithmetic. <laughs> what? No! No way! <laughs> That's impossible. I told you better at math than most people. That's not better at math! Look at you. You just recited a huge string of numbers. That seems pretty astounding, too. You got me there. Where did you find that number anyway? I... I didn't know what to say. What would I tell her? That it just came to me? Can't tell me, huh? Fine. I'm pretty sure that's the key to the code, though. I know the Myrmidons use prime factors for their keys, and there aren't a lot of 25-digit numbers that turn out to be the third power of the prime number. I think there's a very good chance that number you memorized was specifically created by someone. Uh-huh. Er, uh, could you explain that with small words? Well, look at the prime factors of your number. 198,449,351 to the third power. I think that's our hint for cracking the code. Huh? You still don't get it? Try to remember the code we saw in the infirmary. What did it say on the monitor? Um, I think the first row was, uh... 
C Q U J H N M E T O N E R A X D F M I O V P. And the second row. B Y O X or B Y O L W X Y P X S V Z E Q J T K R T L E D. I think. Then they just repeat. Wow, you've got a pretty impressive memory. Yeah. We could really use someone like you back at the... Um. Well, keep going. How do we decode that? You use 198,449,351 to point you to the right letters. How do we do that? Well, the first number is one, so take the first letter. The next number is nine, so go nine letters over from the first one. Oh gosh, that's so complicated. Nine. Just keep going until you get something. Make sense? Okay, can you tell me what you get? <laughs> I ran over what she'd said in my head. The prime number Alice had given me was 19844-9351. So what would we get if we picked out letters like she'd explained? The first letter would be C from the top left. Then you'd move nine to the right, which would give you O. Then eight more to the right. Eventually you'd, you'd get a word. And that word was decode the password you said. No! You have six chances to succeed, fail, and the game is over. Oh no. Okay. The code sheet won't be displayed when you input your answer, so it would be wise to solve it now. The key. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, really? Really? It goes away when I open the thing? Okay. So. So. One nine eight um four four nine uh three five one so it would be let me see what do we what did we have so we got C O as the first two. So C, O, and then so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is M, and then one, two, three, four. That's a P, right? Yeah. If it says computer. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Complete. One, two, three, what? Wait. Wait, I already counted to the nine? Yeah. So, one, two, three, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. E. One, two, wait. Completed. That, that, that. What? Okay. Remember, the key is one nine eight four four nine three five one. Closing this window will take you to the input screen. Okay. Completed. Whoops, I typoed. Completed. That's silly. That's heckin' silly. I did it! Completed! That's it! That's the answer! Completed? Are you sure? Yeah! I did exactly what you told me to do and the word I got was completed. Well, actually it's completed, completed, and completed. The code and the three letters repeat every two lines. It just repeats. Hmm. Well, I can't remember the code like you can, but if you're certain, I believe you. I'm definitely All certain. Right, I wonder what completed is supposed to mean, though. What? Aside from the obvious, you mean. I'm guessing here it means mission complete? So that's what the transmitter was for. Huh? What are you talking about? What transmitter? I barely even heard her. Suddenly, my mind was full of memories that hadn't been there a moment before. It was like a wave had washed away the sand, revealing a bed of precious gems underneath.
That's something that we can find by accident if you were smart, right? <laughs> it's like you didn't need a cipher for that. <laughs> it before. I could remember a series of numbers, but not this. At least I remembered it now. Dio was a member of the Myrmidons, and not just any member. He was their leader. That meant that he meant he had to be the one who planted the bombs. Hey, are you listening to me? Wait, were you, was he the leader? I guess, I guess the Myrmidons. I, I guess the clones, all the together aren't the Myrmidons, but the Myrmidons are comprised of the clones, I think? Or is it? I don't remember. <laughs> that was that was the first ending we got, I don't remember that. <laughs> Didn't have to use the cypher, you just had to be smart, right? <laughs> yeah. Then answer my question. What the hell was that? What's this about a transmitter? I didn't trust myself to try to explain it to her. More than likely, she'd think I was actually insane. Just, I could, even I could barely make sense of the sudden influx of new information. Wait. Don't tell me you're one of the Myrmidons. <laughs> if I was, do you really think I'd reveal myself like this? Point. Out of nowhere, Clover appeared. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Really? We're all down on the floor B warehouse. Well, all of us but Luna and Clark. Oh no. Why? Oh, because of the place. <laughs> We've still got 45 minutes until the white door is open. I know that. Oh, okay. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you, Kay, and Park didn't know about the white doors. Tenmyoji told us about them. He said he'd show us where they were, so we all followed him down to the Floor B warehouse. Understandable. I'm assuming you left Quark with Luna? Yeah, anyway. When we showed up, Fi and Kay already there. Well, all of a sudden, Fi, Tenmyoji, and Dio all started yelling at each other. What? what? Did something happen? According to Clover, the last AB game had been the cause of their fight. Even though Tenmyoji only had one BP, Fi had chosen Betray. They started to fight, and since Dio had pressed Betray on behalf of his team, eventually he got dragged into it too. That seems odd. All Myrmidon are clones, but not all clones are Myrmidons. Mm. This is their bloodbath, maybe, if we don't get there soon. Fi only had one BP too. Her choice seems like a perfectly valid defensive move. Ugh, just come with me. Kay's trying to calm them down, but there's only one of him. <laughs> okay, okay. Come on, Alice, let's go. Coming. I mean, technically that, uh, I mean, technically. There's one K, but technically he's two. <laughs> a bomb, 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 bomb. Why is my phone asking me to like update time zones? I thought I thought the time thing wasn't until like October. For all, all four of them were still there when we arrived. They seemed to have calmed down a bit, but the tension in the air was almost visible. I felt like I'd stepped into a room full of flammable gas. Even the slightest spark could turn the whole place into a raging inferno. Even Kay, eventually so calm and collected, or usually, not eventually, was standing... I didn't mean to press the button. Was standing ramrod straight with his hand balled into a fist at his oh. side. I looked at Alice, pursed my lips, and then headed over to the angry knot of people accom accompanying most of the room. Or occupying, not accompanying. <laughs> Clover told me what's going on. This whole thing is stupid. You need to knock it off. Stupid? What about this is stupid? We're talking about my life, you self-righteous dick. You're stupid is what I thought it was going to do. <laughs> I know, but yelling at each other isn't going to solve your problem. The best thing for us to do right now is to trust each other and get through this. Wouldn't you agree? 
Hard to trust someone who tried to kill me. Same to you. I told you letting Dio vote was a stupid idea. What did you think he was gonna do? You might as well have pressed the button yourself. I couldn't just leave Quark alone. That's no excuse. And where do you get off telling me I shouldn't have picked Betray? Did you even think that through? What, I was supposed to pick Ally? If I'd done that, I'd be dead right now. I could say the same thing to you. Damn good thing Dio didn't choose Ally. Please, that's enough from both of you. Sigma's right. This isn't the time to be bickering with each other. Oh, you don't get to talk. You tried to betray Clover and escape on your own. Perhaps. But I think that's better than nearly killing someone. Well, well I only did it so that she wouldn't kill Tenmyoji. Uh, God damn it. Enough already. I roared with fury and my voice echoed and rebounded off the walls of the warehouse. Everyone fell silent. I didn't know how long that silence would last, so I decided to pull it off all on the table. There was only one way I was going to be able to take control of the situation. Guys, listen to me. We really don't have time for this. I was met with a number of glares, but I soldiered on. See, the thing is, I figured out who planted the bombs. What? Is this what you were talking about earlier? Sort of, yeah. I, I know which one of you it is. Well, spit it out then. Please, explain what's going on here. I don't think I need to. They're going to admit their guilt in just a few minutes. What? <laughs> I, li I like the delivery of that. I was like, what? Me? <laughs> Confess? No, that's silly. You're silly. <laughs> You're all going to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Or, I guess I should say, Dio's mouth. <laughs> Poke your head in the room and yell, come here, brother, and wait for a reaction. What? <laughs> what are you on? You think I set those bombs? Yes, I do. Hey, if you're going to accuse me, you better have some pretty damn good evidence, pal. I'm not accusing you. I'm just stating a fact. Oh yeah? Where the hell did you get that fact? Fun as it was, I knew taunting alone wouldn't be, wouldn't be enough to make Dio confess. He just played dumb. He was good at it, and I'd get nothing. That meant I was going to have to trick him. Well, you see, I'm actually from Free the Soul. Free the Soul? What's that? Some kind of hippie shoe company? <laughs> Don't play dumb, Dio. Or should I call you left. Brother ordered me to come here. To keep an eye on you. It was quick, but for a moment I saw his eyes twitch. I leapt at the moment of the weakness like a hungry dog on a steak. Fine. Skepticism is understandable. Admirable, even. But perhaps this will convince you. I pressed forward, pulling out every fact that I could remember. I told Dio about Brother's background and how his younger brother, Left, had been murdered. I, imagined casu I mentioned casually that the Myrmidons were all clones of a single person. So? Still not convinced? How about this? 718536109883809424199051. Do a little prime factor decomposition on that and you'll get 198443 to the third power. If I'm not who I say I am, how on earth could I possibly know that? No, that's not possible. Finally. So, let's start over, shall we? I was sent here to watch your every move. It seems our wise and noble brother didn't trust you. He suspects betrayal. No! You're lying! I assure you, I'm not. But if you don't believe me, why don't you go outside and call in yourself with your transmitter? <sighs> no! No! You have to be lying! Brother trusts me! That's why he chose me for this mission! Why would he make me the leader of the Myrmidons if he- Huh? Uh, sorry, what was that? I said, why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if- <laughs> I grinned. Wait, what the hell? Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, Dio. I've never seen brother. What the hell was all that? How did you know all those things? Dunno. Maybe I was divinely inspired. Give me that shit! What's going on? What are these Myrmidons? 
Dio and I stared at one another while Clover and Temioji quickly explained to Fai and Kay about the memory card and the number two bomb, and the code that we found out from the terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. So you mean to say someone from the Myrmidons planted the bombs? And Dio pretty much just admitted to doing it? Yeah. Bastards. He's a dummy. I'll never forgive you. I heard a low, furious muttering behind me and turned to see Alice. Her lips pulled back into a snarl. I am going to kill you! Her voice rose to a scream as she charged towards Dio. He ducked out of the way smoothly and pulled something out from his pocket. Whoa there. I like my women a little feisty. But you're taking it a little too far, sweetheart. Tone it down. What? You see this? You know what it is, don't you? Oh my god. Is that... Is that the detonator? Exactly. And I assume you know what happens if I press this button? Yes. I think I do. I'm guessing it'll set off both of the bombs. Mm, well, I wouldn't say both. You mean there's still a number one bomb we haven't found? Correct. And there's one more, too. No. There are four bombs? Exactly. I planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three, but there's also one more. Bomb number zero. <laughs> Jojo Dio was better than the store. Dio, yeah. This, this one's a weenie. Add all that up and you're looking at about four tons of explosive power. Those go off and it's all over. That's enough oomph to turn this whole place into a smoking crater. Aren't you forgetting something? That'd kill you too. So? I'm ready for that. I've got spares. Spares? Is that what Sigma was talking about? <laughs> He's a creep. Kick him in the chest for me, please. Okay! Yeah. Clones. I heard Alice whisper something to Clover. Let's go, Clover. Show him all that training wasn't for nothing. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. They had a chance to ask them, or before I had a chance to ask them what was going on, they moved. Yeah! Get him! She roared and leapt towards Dio, Clover following just behind. Alice threw a punch at Dio's face and he dodged. Clover spun out from behind her. Dio grunted and turned to focus on Alice, but Clover darted in and snatched the detonator from his hand. Clover, get him! Right! Sigma, catch! Huh? Before I could respond, Clover had thrown the detonator at me. I scrambled to grab it out of the air and fell, held it to my chest. Knowing me, Damn it. with with how uncoordinated I am, I would like kind of tumble it in my hands and it would fall to the ground on the button. <laughs> Stop! Let me go! Still let go of me, you asshole! Yelling didn't do him any good, and Dio found himself subdued by the skillful teamwork of Alice and Clover. Strangely, though, once they got a hold of him, he stopped struggling. I was reminded of a gazelle with its neck in the mouth of a lion. Accidentally pushed his button, oops. <laughs> That's what I would say. I would just be like, oops, and then it would just be like, <laughs> Had he surrendered, or did he have some trick up his sleeve? With that kind of smirk, I think he has a trick up his sleeve. It didn't feel right. I didn't have to wait long for my misgivings to prove true. The detonator in my hand suddenly began to flash. What? what? Ha, serves you right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You! Her! All of you! God, you're stupid! What? Why? See that detonator you threw to Sigma? You activated it. If it gets more than a meter away from me, it sets itself off. Oh, we no. We figured someone might try to take it away, so we put in a little safeguard. Since you two were kind enough to take it away from me, the bombs have gone from remote control to countdown timer. Oh, Go no. ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. It won't make any difference now. The bombs are going to go off no matter what. Oh, no. How long do we have? <laughs> About 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Oh no. My condolences. What can we do to stop them? We told you that already. 
First, we need the device that allows us to input information. Then we plug it into each bomb and enter the codes. Hey, Alice, who the hell are you? How do you know all this? None of your damn business. Just tell me where the input device is. <laughs> well, that's none of your damn business. <laughs> Fuck! Stop! You're gonna break it! Of course. Break that's his the plan. arm. Break Please. his arm. Stop! Just tell me what I want to know. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. It's in my coat, in the right-hand pocket. Clover, check it out. Oh, hello, Sakai. I'm playing PSO2 and G Zone 5 boss that I do one damage to. Oh, good luck with that. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember what PSO2 stands for. Uh, oh, is that, um, fan to see Star Online, I think? I think the, the, the thing that got the, um, the update, and it has, like, three million HP, oh my gosh! <laughs> well, as long as you have fun with it, that's the important part. <laughs> Pass the detonator on this goal, it won't solve anything, but it'll feel good, yeah. Fantasy Star Online 2 New Gen. Ah, okay. I need to check that out still. I remember checking it out, um... Like, before it got the, the new gen update. So, I need, I need to give it another try. <laughs> right. Did I, did I read the Clover Check It Out part? I don't know if I did. She nodded and started digging through his pockets. After a few minutes... It's no use! It's no use! 203 bones, that's 203 chances to tell me the code's right. There's nothing here! Did you lie to me? No, I swear, keep looking. Oh, wait, there is something in here. Clover pulled her hand from his pocket and held it out. Is that a pill? Like for medicine? Hey, what is this? Huh? I can't see it. Bring it over here. Uh, that's not a good thing. Clover frowned and moved closer to Dio, holding the pill out towards him. Suddenly he moved, his right hand snaking out to grab the pill from Clover's hand. Before anyone could react, he shoved it in his mouth. I heard a tiny crack as he bit down on it. Almost immediately he grimaced in pain. Shit! What? What was that? Poison, I guess. What? Damn, how could I be so stupid? <laughs> his eyes rolled up into his head and flecks of spittle began to trickle out from the corners of his mouth. I grabbed him by the hair and shook. What the hell are you doing? Where's the input device? <laughs> Lost it. In my couch. Back home. Don't screw with me. Fine. Don't tell us. How about you give us the deactivation codes instead? Deactivation? <laughs> you guys are persistent. Fine. Not gonna do you much good anyway. And I'll tell you, but you only get one. This is the deactivation code for bomb three. Bomb three, okay. So, let me get this open. Um, number three bomb. Okay. Ready? Yeah. L X Q L H C L N X N R Q L H C N M R N M R Okay What about the other three? Tell us the other three He didn't even seem to hear me My body will be a part of the foundation of a bright future Quickly it was signed out, it breaks down at 350 <laughs> Fair I quickly cook it but then he's not gonna die by poison, he's gonna die by cooking. <laughs> his voice was weak and more foam was dribbling out of his mouth. Such a 
beautiful world. May brother live in everlasting glory. Those were the last words Dio spoke. He died with a strange, happy smile. Damn. He only gave us the password for one of the bombs. It has stage two. Oh no! <laughs> so wait, did you already get to the second stage in the boss? <laughs> this is bad. What are we gonna do? I don't know. How much time have we got? 25 minutes. Are you sure? Yes. When he told us the time, I checked my bracelet. It said exactly 30 minutes. You mean the bombs are gonna go off the same time the next set of doors opens? Yes. The time on your bracelet is the time we have left. Oof. Oh. So 25 minutes. This isn't good. I was hoping that we might be able to escape through the white doors, but... I've been going for like three hours and it has a stage two. Oh no! I guess we have another three hours at least. Oh no, Kai! I know that's the point. I really hate Dio. He has no redeeming qualities, right? It takes five minutes for the primary door to open and close. So... Yes, I know. There's no way we can get through them before the explosion happens. Hmm. Well, there's no point just standing around. We should start looking. We need three things. The password input device. And the remaining two bombs, right? Right. We also need passwords for all the bombs other than number three. Exactly. Maybe Dio has a note or something? Hold on. Let me check. She knelt down and quickly checked his pockets and sleeps, then sat back on her heels, frustrated. Damn. He's clean. She looked pale. Then we'll just have to hope we find it somewhere. Tenmyoji, can you go tell Luna what's happened? Right. I'm on it. Good. Mm. The rest of you, let's move out. We can do this. Let's go. We all took off in a run, heading to different paths of the building. Or parts, not paths. But all of our searching turned up nothing. And as we searched, the clock kept ticking. Uh, are we just gonna silently explode? Not not even having a chance to really talk to each other? At last, the chromatic door is opened. Chromatic doors have opened. It has a laser, oh no! Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Our time had run out. We watched the white doors open. Were they open to he were they doors to heaven or to hell? The thought barely had time to flutter through my mind before everything went white. Ah, my eyes! <laughs> we didn't even have time to say goodbye. A thousand emotions flooded my brain in those last moments. Why? How? How had we ended up this way? When then a blistering wave of heat, like a surface of the sun itself, wiped out any lingering thoughts. My consciousness slipped away into a bottomless pool of darkness. Neither heaven nor hell. Only the void. I guess, I guess we're going to see Mal. We got the Alice end. That's so cool, we've gotten three endings today. We're making so much progress. Okay, so what we need, um, so I guess we, well, we're getting everything we need from this round. Okay. Gotta go through here. Well, and skip. You chose what I wanted you to choose. Oh, did we not do this part? I thought we did. Oh. I guess. Huh. I guess I should say thanks. So, uh. Thanks. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you don't need to do that. I don't even know what you asked me to do. I just made the obvious choice. Obvious? 
Well, I'm sure Alice chose Betray. Uh, that meant we pretty much had to choose Betray, right? How do you know what she's going to choose? Well, I, I guess you could say I just know. Maybe. Yo, what's up? Siggy! I know! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Let's go. We'll find out if you made the right choice. All right. Good, good, good. <laughs> this is going to be the last time we're going to be seeing this bit. Let's skip through it. Hey, Alice, what the hell is what? this? You chose Betray last time. Yeah, we did go through this. Maybe... I don't know. I don't know why it's not remembering that we went through this. Hmm. You chose Betray last time. So I chose Betray too. No. Why? Wait a minute. Last time? What on earth are you talking about? I don't know. Fun fact, you would never feel that heat that close to the bombs. It would kill the nerves too quickly. That that makes sense, yeah. Um, can you tell me one more one? Can you tell me one thing? What? Uh, when exactly did you press the button? Five minutes before the deadline. There's that announcement, right? I pressed it right after that. Why? What? No, that can't. What was going on? When Thai and I chose Ally, Alice picked Betray. I just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose Betray. I thought we already went through this, but maybe... Maybe I'm misremembering. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. But this time I chose Betray and her vote changed to Ally. Why? What was different? Had history somehow changed because of my choice? No, that was insane. If Alice had somehow known that I chose chosen Betray and chose an ally in response, at least that would have followed the principle of cause and effect, but what had just happened was something entirely different. There was no way Alice could have known what we chose when she made her decision. Besides, if she had known that we intended to betray her, there's no way she could have chosen an ally. In other words, she must have made her decision without any knowledge of ours. Let's say we're talking about a game of rock, paper, scissors. I throw out a rock. Right after that, Alice throws down paper. Obviously, I lose, so I go back in time and decide to whip out scissors this time. This time, Alice chooses rock. I lose again. But that's fine, because it still makes sense. My actions in the past cause Alice's actions in the future. Easy. But what had just happened to the AB game wasn't like that. Let's go back to the innocent game of rock, paper, scissors. This time, Alice is the one who threw out her hand first. But in this situation, there's no way for me to know what it was. So I decide to go with rock. Now Alice's choice is revealed. Turns out she went with paper. Damn it, I lose and I'm pissed off. So once again, I go back in time to try and change history and erase my loss. What will I choose this time? This wasn't even a question. Scissors, obviously. After all, last time Alice went with paper. Here's that important part. When I make this choice, Alice has already made her choice. Sure of my victory, I throw out a pair of scissors. But... What the hell? My rage would be white hot. What could have happened? How could this have happened? Why? Alice's hand had been paper before. How did it change to rock? Obviously, there was no cause and effect here. Since Alice's choice was in the past and mine was in the future. How could that even happen? How could the future influence the past? But... That wasn't theoretical now. This had actually happened. What the hell was going on? No, Whoa, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why the f was I t talking so casually about going back into time? <laughs> what kind of stuff? That kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. Right. Of course, time travel is impossible. There is absolutely, positively no way to travel through time. But if that was true... 
The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Hey, did you have a stroke or something? <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Besides, why do I have to answer your questions? I should be the one yelling at you. Because of you two, I've only got one VP left. Yeah, you're right. You're right? What in God's name is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Really, I, I seriously feel terrible that, about this. I was- Forget it. I'm never going to trust you or Fi again. You'll pay for this. Sorry. Alice stormed off. She threw one last hurt, scornful look over her shoulder as she left, and it stabbed me right through the heart. One of the other teams seemed to be dealing with a similar issue. I really don't know what I can say. We had no idea you would choose Ally. No way I'd choose Betray. That was Clover on the other side. What? What do you mean? Do you have an interest in Clover? Is this skippable? It is, okay. It's like we already went through this dialogue, so. Okay, then... Ooh, it's getting close to six. Okay, we have all the memories. I think for the most part we're gonna be able to skip through visiting all the areas up until we run into Alice. And then she's gonna be like, why the f would I talk to you, you <laughs> Uh, crew quarters. Go through there and 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 talk about our little cat tick. And then infirmary. Alice is probably gonna be in there and then salt us. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Ba -da -da -da. And then we find the bomb. So, hmm. Oh. You you redeemed the ara ara. Let me let me let me sip some water first. Ara ara. <laughs> Who was the first pre person to find this? Me. I found it while Quark and I were investigating this area. We split up to collect the rest of you. How did you know it was a bomb? I have seen it before. When? You've seen it before? I'm not sure. Because of the amnesia? Yes. Are you kidding me? We don't even know if it's a real bomb. Are you gonna tell me you believe that guy who can't remember his own fucking name knows a bomb when he sees it? Are you gonna look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> Kay is right. That's a bomb. I'm sure of it. How do you know? I just do, okay? You sounded pretty sure about the switch, too. My sanity has been increased by two minutes. I can fight this boss for another two minutes. I feel like I'm for I feel like I'm enough. <laughs> I'm I'm glad my Ada Ada could give you power <laughs> for two minutes. <laughs> How do you know all this? Let's just say it's an occupational hazard. What kind of occupation do you have? Okay. It's like we've already had this discussion. Oh. Music chain. Oh, because it was different because Kay remembered the bomb. Chromatic doors have opened. But Kay is Sigma. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Hey, the doors are open. You remember seeing you the bomb, out but who's gonna go through which door? <laughs> um, well, what are our options this time? Pay attention. I'm only saying this once. Just like the last time, we've got three possible combinations. If I quickly laid out our choices. Option A. Luna and I pair up with Clover and go through the green door. Temioji and Dio pair up with Alice and go through the red door. Kay and Quark pair up with Fi and go through the blue door. Okay, that seems plausible. 
Option B, Luna and I pair up with Thai and go through the red door. Temioji and Dio play her up with Clover and go through the blue door. Kay and Quark pair up with Alice and go through the green door. That seems more plausible. That that that's weird. Auto has usually caused pocket damage. <laughs> Option C, Luna and I pair up with Alice and go through the blue door. She is not gonna agree to that at all. Temioji and Dio pair up with Thai and open up the green door. Kay and Quark pair up with Clover and go open the red door. So. Three. Minutes remain until chromatic doors close. I think we'll go with uh, option B. Okay, how do we want to do this? Well, you decided the first time, right? Yeah. Then can I decide this time? Oh, why you? I think I deserve it. I only have one BP left. Doesn't it seem like the fair thing is to let the person who's at the greatest disadvantage choose? Wouldn't you agree? Uh. That means you should get to choose too. I mean, You've only got one BP, right? You've got a point. But how about we listen to what Alice wants first? Yeah. So tell and us, then tell me OG's point. Which door and which people do you want? The green door. And I want to go with Kay and Quark. I see. Understandable. Option B, then. That means Tenmyoji and Dio will go with Clover through the blue door. <laughs> Don't you love fighting a boss that you do one damage to, but it but it does 4k to you, thus it one shots you? Oh no! <laughs> Man, I would I would love to try that in like Final Fantasy XIV, but like there's there's always like a weird delay between attacks, so like I wouldn't even be able to do that. But like, I feel like probably not to that level, but I feel like I've done something similar to that with something. Is that all right with you, Tenmyoji? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Why? If we go through there together, that means you'll be playing against me in the next AB game. Are you really, really sure? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Matter of fact, that's why I want to go with you. You said you didn't trust me, right? Well, I'd like to change your mind. I figure this will give me the chance. Um... I've been wanting to pair up with Alice, too. There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh, and that is? We'll get to that later. Alice's first choice would be option B, then? Yes, I guess. What about the rest of you? Is that okay, too? I thought about it for a moment. If I went with option B, then Luna and I would go through the red door of Thai. As far as I... as far as how I felt about that, sure. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have any problems with it. There were no objections. Then we're all set. Let's go, everybody. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We nodded quickly to one another and split up. Kay, Quark, and Alice headed for the green door while Temio, Gideo, and Clover ran towards the blue one. My feet slapped against the hard metal of the warehouse floor, and Luna, Thai, and I ran through the red chromatic door, the next stage of the nonary game. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Okay. And so we'll be able to save in the beginning of the puzzle room and then find somebody to read. See, what kind of room are we going into? Huh? Is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. Yeah, looks like it. I wonder what this thing is. It looks like the thing next to the number nine door. It's got a lever. Try pulling it, Sigma. Why should I? It might be dangerous. Maybe it'll trigger an explosion. Or possibly it shocks you when you pull it. Who knows? Right. Then I have no choice. Did you really think I'd say that, you heartless monster? There's nothing on the other side, is there? That's or on special. either side? Uh, sorry for the confusion. I was talking about your breasts. It's called dressing modestly. I'll Oof. have you know I'm a C cup. If you're a C cup, I'm packing 12 inches. <laughs> oh no. I mean, like. 
I know, I know bra sizes in Japan are different, so like she could probably be a C cup. We continued to f in that vein for some time until... You're a C cup, I'm seven feet tall. <laughs> huh? What? opened <laughs> the others are still shut tight well we should get going anyway fun fact uchi kochi confirmed their size is canon because he's like that <laughs> of course he would <laughs> also hello how you doing <laughs> no she must be factoring she must not be factoring in the strap size well you have to you have to, to be able to calculate the cup size you have to um calculate the underbus size that that's how that works <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. Like you have to measure both to be able to get the cup size. So it could be a case of she's just wearing some baggy clothes. What is this place? This looks like some kind of control room. I can see a huge machine of some sort on the other side of this window. Baggy clothes and really tiny ribs. <laughs> Maybe a generator? Because, like, you can see some kind of, like, indent going in there. Like, for her waist. So, yeah. I see, I feel like a sea cup's believable. Right then, let's split up and look around. We need cards with the moon on them for the next AP game, right? Yeah. They're probably in this room somewhere. Let's get started. So now we are officially in the puzzle room, so we can save. And then now we can go over to the just chatting screen. And then we can find somebody to read. Let me see, I have to do it in a weird way because my little thing is broken. <gasps> There's so many people! There's so many people streaming! Let me see, what we got, what we got? We got so far... The people I'm looking at are all doing art. <laughs> so it seems very likely that we're going to be doing an art stream that we're reading. Let's see. Mm. Uh. Yeah, I want to. I'm going <laughs> to. You're right. I should. I should raid them. But uh, no, I think I, I think they're ending. I don't know if I can raid Zephoria. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll be able to end at this, or maybe they won't be ending when we are ending. <laughs> Doing D and D. Ooh, whoops! I, I copied instead of pasted. I have to do this in a weird way because my thing broke. But I will, I will look into them if it'll let me. There we go. Because I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna look into streamers a little bit. But, let me see, um, so there we go, we are starting the raid, and the raid message will be, um, what, 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 what should the raid message be, oh no, <laughs> um, brain raid I feel like is okay As if I can type it right <laughs> because we've gotten a lot of endings so we got we got big brain big brain raid okay there is the raid message but yeah I feel like it's a good thing to to raid Ama today because she she just got back from a vacation so it'd be nice to be like hello <laughs> But yes, I'm so glad we've gotten so many endings today. We went for so long with only having the Dio ending. And now we got we got Clover, Alice, and Kay. <laughs> now we just need we just have four, like four more endings, which I think we might be able to do them tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> Cause we are doing another stream for the same thing tomorrow. And if we end early, I don't know. We're gonna play pressure Ross simulator. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I haven't decided. But I will see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully I, re I remember to put a Twitter post out. Ah! <laughs>